doesn't have to be a permanent thing. This is a one shot and mainly it's to test things out. So, um, yeah, if you're really uh, attached to the character, don't worry about that part of things. Um, other no, thing, uh, not to the second. Uh, yeah, to the second, my look, main character. Look, if there's a uh, this, part, <laughs> you'll have this to bring is me now, the guys. Third. Uh, <laughs> who I am. You just have to bring two the third to the next one. Yeah, yeah. No, that's <laughs> two, that's three, three the point. third. <laughs> yeah. My character would be the one that um, that is the victim of the chest burster. <laughs> <laughs> uh if you guys the other thing is if you guys want to change your discord um nicknames like yeah. uh i think you, you can just right click yourself to put your name there um yeah sure just i think it'll keep things from being more confusing for now if you look over a discord and actually know the character flashbang baby woo you know also, I forgot oh. to say, flashbang is like a master mechanic for like spaceships. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Rocket Perfect. Raccoon, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it, sorry, I, 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 didn't hear if you said or not. Did Did you end yeah. up going with flashbang being a drug addict? Yes. Okay, I saw, <laughs> I saw your picture. He's drinking some whiskey, so I didn't know if he was oh, just like oh, he's got all sorts of problems. An all around party rabbit, like <laughs> space McKenzie. Oh, it's it's in the backstory that I wrote for him. <laughs> I love it. Fuck yeah. He's an animal. Nice. You all came up with great characters. I think we're going to destroy anything Gareth throws at us. Oh, that's no, his last true. words. Let's I asked, true. you want to hear how crazy Gareth is? I asked him if I could just have a bomb strapped to my chest just in case. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's the thing. That should be a very good way for a character to send themselves off in a one shot. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say no to that. I didn't take it. I didn't take the suicide. Uh, Could have have been clutch. I'm just like Yeah, if we're flying I told you up. We're about to go into warp speed. We're flying away from the mission, and I just go, Wild card! <laughs> Wild card, everybody, bitches. everybody dies. Yeah. Oh, At, God. In the end the epilogue. The worst teammate ever. Hmm. You're a from the Discord. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'd instant take you. <laughs> Delete That it. didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> Delete the line. VOD. <laughs> yeah. One shot's just the darkest timeline. So just Yeah, we'll just bleep out any possible outcome. Yeah. Anytime Cameron talks, we just bleep him out. <laughs> <laughs> that that can, that that can absolutely happen. Months. That would be a lot of work. <laughs> that would be a lot of work. A lot of effort. going back through think everything. Think of the comedy. <laughs> yeah. For the for for the record, I chose an honorable character, not not one that would do that. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Good. Fucking good. I don't know about uh, drug rabbit over there, but hey. dude, you don't. You have no idea the levels of speed flashbang is going to achieve in this. Can't wait. Your speed. I'm uh Ozzy will help a little bit. I'm just going to just, I'm just gonna give it a little uh, right. little pep. Little <laughs> Put us oh, in me. coach. Put us in space. <laughs> We're ready. I wanna go to space. Space. I'm ready, ready to go like I'm there. mash and bash. Let's do this. <laughs> Yo, space though? Look at this. This is space. Um <clears throat> okay. This is uh, the final frontier. Yes, the final frontier. Um, So uh, we start our adventure in the depths of space above a blue planet called Vesta, a planet covered by a vast ocean and lush farmland, the breadbasket of Lone Star. As we float above the planet um, and its horizon, a space cruiser shoots past the camera. The spaceship is decked, uh, a decked out fighter with everything you could need. The paint is shiny, glossy, neon orange. The engines are the newest model of Hyper Red. The weapons are powerful laser cannons which cut through shields like a light knife through butter. We see that this amazing ship is actually a reflection in the window of another ship. A junker held together by space tape and wampa gum. This is your (laughs) ship. We move through the glass and see floating fast food bags and articles of clothing. You've been stranded for the past three weeks. You're desperate. Your ship is running on the fumes of the last charge packs you got um, to get to Vesta. Um, You've been forced to sit and wait until you get the call for a job in your area. 
Um, and with that, what is everyone doing? You've been stuck in a box floating through space for three weeks. I'm looking through what the window. What do we see, everyone? I'm looking through the window, window and muttering show off. Uh-huh. Yeah, they zip off into into nothing. Hey, get a lot of these idiots. Their they're, they're, they're ride is so pimped out. They're stupid risers. Ah. Oh, they're so I'm looking cool. at Flashbang. I'm looking at Flashbang thinking, mm, Rabbit Stew would be pretty good right now. Uh -huh. Flashbang's currently like in the floorboards with like his blowtorch going, and you see sparks coming out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get us out here, okay? I'm gonna figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this this is the fancy jet that flew by, and here's your giant junk ship. Oh, it nice. is not exactly like a <laughs> a garbage truck, but it's the next <laughs> the next we, thing. We can't like call space AAA. Uh, y you could. The problem is you need to pay for it, and you're out of you're like low on money. You're low on funds. You can't buy new fuel. You're just waiting for the next job. It'll come in eventually. You're sure. Yeah, Hopefully. I am sure. Flashbang, have you figured out a way to get us to Vesta yet? Like on the on the thing, are our communications even up so we can receive a job? I'm checking communications. Are they on? Yeah, yeah. You like bang on a, a monitor a little bit, and it uh, it like flits to life. It it seems like it's going, um, and uh, right on time, you get a transmission call coming in. Oh, see, all you had to do was complain that we should have started that from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks without complaining. No, there's there's been a bunch of complaining happening. Oh, no, there's been plenty of complaining. Um, hey, yeah, this is Atmos. Hey, Sosa Spake Ghost, you're on the air. Uh, yeah, so um, you see that f uh, this image flits on through all through the, the ship. Everyone can see it from their own quarters. Um, you see this uh, small humanoid rat creature with big oversized uh, glasses and a big uh, gold tooth in the front. And you hear, let me see if this works. Ooh. Hey there, anyone there? Can you hear me? Damn thing, barely works. Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Tell us some good news, please. Uh, heard you looking for work? You've been posting on the space boards? Absolutely. Uh, you need something? Absolutely. Well, hey, everybody, gather up. You got something. I'm already here. Oh, thank God, I don't have to leave this dimension. Moving on. It's a... Well, my, uh, my cryo crystal shattered the other day. Uh, the graph tractors haven't been running. Uh, we need to harvest those crops before it gets cold. Um... Well, supposedly there's a, a ship near you, some scrap heap. It, it's got a bunch of crystals from my scanners, readings. Uh, if you could pick them up, I could give you a bunch of jade for it. I'm sure that's what you're looking for. Hey, you said readings? Do you need a reading, my guy? I can do one of those for you. All right, all right. Oh, I, I'm, I'm talking like radar scanners. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, you're talking about what I'm talking about. Let's go. Come on. I can give you a reading. It's only a hundred bucks. Mm, could be. What, what kind of readings are you talking about? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about getting in touch with your ancestors, my guy. Uh, well, I come from a long line of farmers, so frankly, that, I mean, it would probably be boring stuff. We go back a long way. All right, crystals. Proud crystals, you know, the things that make things float. Uh, I hear there's, well, based on these readings, there's at least 12 of them up there. Uh, I could give you mm, uh, 5,000 jade per crystal, and that should be 60,000 in total. Um, if you deliver it to me on Vestra, um, and, I mean, it'll go a long way helping me out. Hey, that's pretty good, you guys. Yeah, was, I'm okay with that. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I, yeah, we we love floating. Let's do that. Oh well, sending uh your coordinates um right now to the abandoned ship should pop up in no time. 
and with that, um, you get a little blip on your radar um, mm-hmm. of something close by. You have you have enough um, fuel to to start up and head over there. It's within like an hour flight or so. Um, yeah. Flashbang, second coming of the All Hammer. Can you get us there? Just give me a little bit more time, okay? I gotta get some of these wires together. Yeah. <laughs> Atlas is laughing into the mirror. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. Sure. That's great. What do I want to make this check? Uh, make a make a sleight of hand check. Uh, flashbang as you're you're rewiring a bunch of stuff. Oh dang! Do we just blue screen? <laughs> <laughs> you just like, crash into the planet. Well, how do you guys? Right, that, you guys that was great. That was one way to get here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the the whole thing shudders and um, knocks people around quite a bit. Everyone like uh, gets like knocked and flies upside down. But eventually, uh, you get control of the thing and um, can like shudder the the junker to to life um, and start heading towards the blip if that's your goal. Absolutely. Let's get to there. the blip. To the blip. Yo. Yep. <laughs> hey. Uh, to the second, will you get your 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 pet under control? <laughs> he can't come with us to the planet. Space dog, blink dog. Deal with space dog. dog. I'll deal with the dog. <laughs> Save the body. Save. <laughs> okay. Um, a new map. It's all dark. Darkness. Oh, jeez. Oh. So, um, up ahead of you, um, after an hour of travel, um, you see this scrap heap of a ship, um, this jagged metal, um, and you can see the back portion mainly was ripped up by something, uh, maybe an explosion, and uh, you'd estimate that the back is probably the safest entrance um, to uh, approach the ship mainly because the front side of the ship has uh, these portions of garbage and asteroids, um, which would make it dangerous to approach on that end. Um, but yeah, you've got the airlock, and uh, you can head there. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll not suit up, but instead I will just create a little uh, vortex of wind around me so that my eyeballs don't get sucked from their sockets, but I'll go out, no helmet, all that. I don't need to breathe. True, true. Deuces, guys. Um, I will say uh, that as far as suits go, um, there are two main pieces which make up the suit. Um, there's something called a stasis buckle, um, and uh, you click the two pieces together, and it creates a pressurized bubble to form around you. Um, the bub- The buckle provides an insulated temperature and protects from space radiation. Um, and it also synthesizes oxygen. Um, the second part is the shoe plates, which attach to the bottom of your feet, and uh, they can provide bursts of air to help you navigate um, through space. Okay, so very, everybody is suited up with this type of thing. Very compelling. All I'll right. put those on. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you don't want to put the, the boots on, that's fine. I'm just saying. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, so everyone gets into the, the airlock, I, I suppose. Whoosh. Yep. Yep. Here, looks cool. like we can get in here. Bang, bang. Uh-huh. Yeah, as, uh, as the thing opens up and you float on over, uh, if people want to make perception checks, just approaching the ship. Perception. Sure. Let's see. Nice. Perception. Strong perception checks. Okay, let's see here. Um, so Atmos and Flashbang, um, you see into a cracked portion towards the center of the ship, and uh, you swear you see some um, like some light coming from the center. Uh, you're not sure exactly what it is. Uh, Kino and um, Two, you uh, yeah, <laughs> you swear you see uh, some 
it's hard to describe shadows um, which flit um, behind a piece of junk at the far end of the ship. Um, but what everyone sees is a, a big title on the ship, which is Vesis. How old does this um, ship look? Uh, if you want to make a history check, um, just to see what you'd know about um, ships in general. Yeah. Uh, seven. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's hard to, to hard hard to tell. You can tell that this is one of those government ships, um, just based on the design of it, um, that this is probably from the Federation. Um, and uh, you see under the title Vesis, uh, something that confirms your suspicion. Um, UUL Zero Division, um, which is under the, the main... <laughs> Uh, Sorry, it's thesis. involuntary. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, if other people want to make a history check as well, um, just looking at this. Well, while they're rolling, is, is this like a dirty ship? Is it like broken That's and stuff? Right. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of, um, mainly the back of the ship is completely ripped up. Like the engines um, are torn up quite a bit. Uh, you see this uh, purplish rust on the back of the ship as well. Um, okay, those history checks, not too good. Flashbang. <laughs> Master Let's mechanic. See what you know Master about this. mechanic of the strong I think, 19. Yeah. Back in the day, um, you did some work with the government um, just based on like uh, one of their ships. And uh, you noticed that this was probably a research ship. You've seen uh, Zero Division um, on uh, other ships you worked on before and seen a bunch of scientists going in and out. Um, and they seemed pretty high up on the totem pole. But uh, yeah, that's that's mainly what you notice. Um, is that purple rust on the ship something that uh, we would recognize as naturally occurring or like just nothing kind of weird about it yeah or... i was gonna bring it up once we were inside the airlock but if we can talk to each cool. other now then i'll like, definitely yeah. echo that for mozzie yeah you can definitely do like the radio talk uh, I, the stasis belt is basically hand waving all the space stuff so well, um, let's go yeah stasis i belt. think yeah i think you can uh communicate um at least um within like a certain range of each other like talking distance mm -hmm. actually uh I could actually communicate telepathically with uh, with Atmos about that. I don't need True. it. So we have radios. I beat him to the punch and I point at him, and he gets but this mind link. He gets this crazy yeah. little spirit whisper in his head. Hey, there's purple stuff. <laughs> I hear enough voices in my head. It's uh, you're not the you're not the first one, Atmos. Just uh, letting you know. <laughs> I don't but, think we're. Yes, alone it is. Here. It does seem strange. You don't Saw think we're shadow. alone here too? Shadows. I didn't see no shadows. Oh, sorry. I was a little distracted. I was, uh, you know, uh, Ozzy was fiddling around with his uh, battery pack, and he is uh, activates his. Well, the equivalent of mage armor, like throws in one of his battery packs and mm -hmm. onto his shields in order to give him an extra boost. Pull out my lightsaber. Nice. <laughs> so we got shadows, um, purple stuff. We're going to get the Sunny D inside? That's danger. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going in, you guys. I, we, we got. I'm trying to float. I'm trying to get some crystals. I'm trying to. You know. <clears throat> Crystals cool. are on the inside, right? Yeah, so we got to be on the inside. The sooner we get out right. of here, the better. Let's go. I am opening the door. Cool. Uh, you make your way towards the back, and um, you are near where that rust is, and you see a you see a portion that would lead you into the airlock. Um, okay. The door is already open. Um, as you land there, um, you see that there is a um, like a stuck uh airlock door ahead of you um and it seems to give off a little bit of sparks um and uh it is continually trying to close all the way but seems to be jammed a little bit 
Okay. Um, there's like five inches of opening. All right. Can I? I'm gonna, try it. I'm, I'm gonna get underneath. I'm gonna try to lift it up. I'm gonna throw Through out fellas. some dancing stage lights uh, to create a very well lit area for my good friend Kino. Nice. Yeah, that definitely helps because uh, the sun yeah. near you um, is uh, on the other side of the ship. So yeah. get thanks, dark. blue guy. Um, cool. If you want to roll that athletics. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, you jam your hand in and you're able to, um, uh, break something in the hinge of it, uh, which was, uh, stuck in the way. Um, and it, um, opens up, uh, and it seems to have like the inclination to close. Like if you let go of it, it will, it'll close potentially all, all right. the way now. So I have I have my echo sort of like step in front of me as well and hold the do- the other side of the door. Nice. All yeah. right, ladies first. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna boldly walk around uh, Kino and just kind of like, uh, like playfully mock him. It's like, oh, you're pretty buff, huh? And just tap him on the bicep and just keep walking and throw my dancing stage lights further in. <laughs> you nice. know it. Uh, what are other people doing as you land on this? little staging ground um Ozzy mindlessly else? uh rushes forward in order to look at the strange new thing the I'm looking uh, around and the purple rust cool uh yeah um Ozzy if you want to make a nature check okay. um either nature or arcana um those are the same for me so I will roll nature in this case so okay very wise. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my guy. Nice. Uh, yeah, High working with Aussie. some. Um, <laughs> yeah, having your spells be uh, this kind of like technological thing. Um, you've uh, experimented in the past, and you've noticed that if you push something too hard, um, that this rust seems to form on it when you uh, like when you divert too much energy into a uh, piece of metal um, that eventually it forms this like purplish rust, especially in space, um, the color is more obvious. So it seems like uh, a lot of energy has um, moved through this ship. Um, uh, And you think it could have been an explosion, but it probably wouldn't um, cause that type of reaction it's almost like the sh- ship was like shocked by something relay that information to the group so it seems like it came from the outside not the inside it's hard to tell that's the one thing that um, okay, is sure. confusing about it hmm. do you think it came from the outside Ozzy well judging off of situation here I think I need to know a little bit more information about what kind of ship this was were they doing any sort of experiments what would they have even been doing out here in this part of space and he's just kind of mumbling and uh it was a researcher ship <laughs> <laughs> we're done one of these before uh yeah you know these okay if they were doing research then maybe I should try to do a little bit could have floated if I have here the chance, I should look into too. more research. What were they doing here? Hmm. Well, so, hey, if, uh, don't forget, you guys, if you're trying to do research as Ozzy is trying to do, or something, you know, looks a little tough at first glance, uh, let me know. I can, I can help you out. You know, I've got that talent. I've got that thing. That thing where you talk to yourself? No, that thing where I talk to you. What do you mean when you talk to me? I- you talking to me right now? Uh, yeah, I'm talking. To you. I'm pumping you up. You see? In it. You, don't you? Um, we go through this every time. You guys forget all the time. Look, this is, Kino, you this can is, do whatever you want. You are the strongest. Let me tell you, your your Echo Clone. That's so cool. And I cast Guidance on Kino. <laughs> oh, that's that's very kind. You will use that Guidance to just look at his arms and be like, "Yeah, I am really strong. My Echo is really cool." <laughs> I feel like there may be more useful uh, uses of that magic at this point case hmm. look i can do it all right you brought your brain now you're thinking too hard i can't help it i can't turn it off let's just keep looking around you got a point let's just <laughs> let's just get these these doors can close with like five thousand pounds of force you need to get your arms out of there right now it's gonna chop your arm clean off Kino, oh, is so that heavy to you 
Heavy? What, what do you mean? The door? Yeah, ah, it's fine. Guess the door! Uh, nah, this is like my morning routine, you know? A couple thousand pounds lift, put down. Easy. Alright, well, whenever your arm gets chopped off, don't come running to me to patch you up. I don't want to hear it. Alright, everybody, let's get this show on the road. Oh. We, we, lights, camera, action, let's go. And I'll yes, throw the dancing stage lights. <laughs> I'll throw the stage lights forward and uh, look around, peer around, make sure that nothing's going to jump out at us and create a very well-lit light ramp as if we're walking sure. down the stage. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll see, like, as Kino uh, moves his arm from the, the airlock door, it, like, slams yeah. shut with a thousand pounds of force. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, uh, yeah, it, it like goes fine. Everyone's through. Don't worry, we leave. I'll just pick it back up. It looks like it fell really strongly. If you're sure you're able to pick it up again, then sure. But okay, yeah, you Easy. Would. keep in mind. So. Look at this. All this all this positive feedback I'm getting from Blue Guy. I'm good. Easy peasy. Yeah, you will. Look at that. Um, cool. As the door shuts, you'll see a like green light um uh blinking above it, which will say um pressurizing as um you see a lot of the floating things in the area will drop down and the gravity will return to um, this area. Um, and bringing those dancing lights up ahead, you see that this was a reception area, um, that there was a bunch of like uh, tables and chairs and whatnot. Um, and many of them are flipped over, especially because of the gravity. Um, cabinets, there's a reception desk. Um, Mainly, uh, there's this blue blinking light that flickers off at the other end of the room. Uh, there's a vending machine that's tossed over with a window blo uh, broken on it. Um, and as you move the lights forward, it illuminates a trail of blood which moves behind the reception desk. Oh, hey, my kind of business. Hey, somebody's dead over here, probably. You guys want to check it out? Blood. Is there a body? We're about to find out, and I'll just kind of dust my hands and walk on over. <laughs> what kind yeah, of uh, blood is it? Is there a way I, um, like, do aliens or do different species have different colors of blood able to identify what the source was? Or uh, Sure, you can make a nature check as well as... Um, uh... Okay, nature. Let's see. Atmos is approaching there. Oh! Dang, dude. Five. Very nice. You're so Super good smart. at nature. It is kind of my main focus of um, study right now. But it's... Yeah, you would know that this this is the blood of a uh, human hybrid. Um, that this is just a... Uh, it's like a race of people um, that after a long time ago, where wherever humans all came from, uh, they all like split apart and speciated. Um where uh, different species of humans can't have like babies with each other anymore. Uh, that this is one of, one of those uh, their their race. A, a lot of other, um, and you probably get this from like uh, quickly like analyzing it with some um, piece of technology as well. Using the Omni tool. Yeah, exactly. Um, as you scan it over. Um, but yeah, this the, it just seems to be a person's blood um, and not infected. As you like run the little scan, it seems that um, they don't seem to be uh, anything weird with the blood or anything. It seems to be normal human blood, but I don't know what caused this to happen. Perhaps we should follow this trail. Yeah. I mean, it looks like he bled out. At least. Uh, Look at all this blood. That's that's a fair assumption. Yes. Well, I can't wait to talk to him and find out where's this blood, where's this blood um, trail lead when I'm following it. Cool. So as you uh, turn around and get to behind the reception desk, you'll see that there was a person stationed there, um, and now they're slumped mainly on the ground, but their arm is still partially on the chair there. Um, and uh, as you shine the light towards them, you'll see their face is completely covered in this uh, black tar. Um, and it, it like caves in like and you can barely recognize it to be a head like it's just black tar like almost headless Ooh. Um, I'm gonna look over to the group nasty. a little grimace Ugh. Uh, 
this, oh. dude, this dude dead as hell. Wait, he, he looks like it. Dark closer. Yes, well, supposedly this was a human at one point. So. I'm dark. Sure. Here. Um, well, it's a, lo a lot brighter now that these uh, dancing lights are around. But okay. without it, it would be uh, pretty pretty dark for the most part. Can I, uh, um, you're just going to see Flashbang take his goggles that are on top of his head, put them over his eyes, and he's going to like slap the side of them like really hard, and his eyes are going <laughs> to light up bright-ass green. Yeah. All so right. he's looking around. Remind me what that does again, Flashbang. I forgot. Uh, well, you see, since I'm a mechanic and I always go into these very dark places, it's always really hard to see in there. So I got these bad boys, and they really help me whenever I'm looking around in there trying to find stuff, you know? Man, you know, so... I got these lights, and I'll just kind of, like, swirl my finger and bring the lights and swirl it around the finger before dispersing them back over the room again. Yeah, but it, it doesn't always work. These are reliable, okay? I've had these for years. These, these are amazing. These are great. That's fine. I got you. I got you. Hey, um... you, dead guy. And I'll... I'll kick the the heel of the dead guy, yeah, and uh, see if anything like jostles, like maybe the tar comes off, or like, can I take, um, can I take the tip of my spiraling rapier and sort of like try to scrape off some of the black tar? I'm trying to see if there's a mouth. Okay. <laughs> or, um, or or a face. So, uh, <laughs> I'll say as well, um, two. If you want to roll, uh. You can either roll. There's there's many things you can roll for this. Uh, Just nature, roll everything. Nature, I medicine. I want to or... figure out if this is a, a result of like the same thing as the weird rust, mm. or if this is what actually killed the person. Um. Okay. If this is a result of the. Like like uh, is yeah, this roll, forming roll after medicine. the person died, or did a person die as yeah. a result of this? Uh, roll a medicine. What were my choices? Oh, what um, were nice. Uh, I'll get to you in a second. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. The medicine check. You can tell that uh, as as you're looking them over, you can see that they were wounded before this happened, but it wasn't like uh, wounds enough to kill someone. So they probably died to whatever happened to their head or whatever shortly after and what, um, meaning whatever this is this goop tar is it, yeah it seems okay. yeah it seems unrelated to the explosion i'll okay. say that for sure um okay atmos as you um approach the head make a dexterity saving throw well i mean does uh does two the second stop me because that sounds like since he has new information as he sees me going for my rapier, does he do anything to prevent me from doing something? Did I sense, like, danger from you it? Didn't, you didn't sense danger. I wouldn't say danger. I mean, you, you don't know that that was probably how they died, but you didn't think it was still dangerous, so I, I, I think it would be enough. I wouldn't, like, physically stop you. I'd probably rattle off one of my, like, sense danger. Okay. Yeah. There's a <laughs> disturbance. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, whatever. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. Good stuff, guys. I love ten it. 10 out of 10. Okay. I'm like, yeah, yeah, um, whatever. <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay. Um, you take uh, five damage as this thing bursts. Um, and uh, I will say, um, let's see. Uh, Flashbang if you want to roll a perception at advantage. Oh yeah. Um Ooh. Nice. Flashbang's head is like moving so quick he's looking everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The the lights go out. Squeaked out. Oh true, true. It is now dark. Um yeah, that well, that's good. That he had the night vision goggles. Why did um, I tell as, you? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, something yeah. something something. Ugh, I'm stumbling back away. Someone else go check it out. I'm not touching it. So what you saw, um, Flashbang, you swear you saw something um, erupt from the head and go skittering off um, ar around the corner um, in the opposite direction. Uh, and the weird thing is, like, as, you, as you're, like, tapping your goggles, you realize that it was something, like, it goes beyond the visible light spectrum 
that you might have a hard time seeing this with your normal eyes. Um, that these goggles uh, do a good job in, in seeing that. Threw a shield in front of uh, Atmos. Yo, what a star. And Thanks. absorbed four damage. Oh, I can do that too. Wow. Is, oh, is it fist bump. Jedi yeah. fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it an attack? Can I do this? Um, it was a dex save, so I'm assuming not, but mine's see. whenever it takes damage rather than okay. on an true, attack. True. I also, uh, I think Kino, you're a bit behind. Like, uh, two was like right there with right, um, got it. the disturbance. Okay. Yeah, uh, thanks, the Ben. Best. You know, I always appreciate that. I appreciate you. Show, show must go on after all. It's what I do. Can we get the lights back on? I can't see anything. Yeah, hey, uh, well, lights. let me, uh, hold on. There's a panel here somewhere. There's always got to be a panel. Let me go through it somewhere. I give. If you want, I can uh, just take a turn putting on the lights, so. Um, you can roll a uh, flashbang if you want to roll a arcana. Uh, by the way, in this in this setting, anytime you're uh, working with, like, uh, machines and, like, coding and hacking, it's arcana. Um, nice. Uh as far as hacking goes, at least. There's like actually yeah. working with repairs. Um, nice, you actually uh, flip a thing um, and the lights uh, all turn on. Um, That's much better. And you hear this like w like noise sound, um, like feedback from a speaker um, and a blue light shines in the middle of the room. Um, and uh, you see uh, a little robot creature uh, like a hologram up here in the center of the room as it flickers on. Um, yeah. Let's see. What do we have here? Yeah, I told you there's always a panel for everything in these places. None of you guys ever listen to me, but it's very easy to work on these. Things, okay. Hey, good. Because you talk at like ten miles an hour. Jeez, man. Is Calm there down. any trace of that thing that took off around the corner? The head burster. Wolf. wolf. Uh, I'll say roll a, roll a perception check as well. Does it leave like a goo trail? Goo trail. My favorite kind of trail. Hey. Dang. Uh, what you do see, you you sense that it uh, skittered off as well. Um, one thing you, you sense about it is it's similar. It gives you the vague impression similar to how your uh, telekinetic forces the force you as you call it <laughs> uh it, it gives you the same impression of this uh where it's it's something kind of beyond um the physical um and you saw it skitter up into the ceiling as it um you swear you saw a, a similar thing it could have just been like a rat or something if it wasn't that sense of otherworldliness am i scared uh, roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> I guess it would be wisdom. Whatever. Roll, roll something. Okay. Hmm. Dex. Okay. You are steadfast. You don't throw up. Confronting fear slow. is the destiny of a Jedi. <laughs> hey. And I step forward. Hey, Jedi, why don't you confront this dead body here? Is there something I can talk to? Can you see a face? I don't uh, know. Can I see a face after it blew up? <laughs> I feel like. Uh, yeah, as you guys check it over, the the face is completely gone. Um, uh, yeah, depending um, on how your magic works, it might help work I mean, anyway. It's got a hole. <laughs> I just look at him and shake my head. No, there's no face. Okay, I'm just gonna. At most, is just gonna like pick his last meal out of his teeth with his tongue and then just click his teeth and alright, fine. If, if we're gonna um, be here a little while, then perhaps I could um, you know, set up some equipment, take a, get a better idea of our layout. Um, uh, if we're going to stay around for a bit, then I will ritual cast a tech magic. So. Alright, walking into the next room. Got it. <laughs> uh, while Ozzy's setting up his equipment um what are the exits for this room 
Um, there seems to be a back room uh, of the reception area, um, which just seems to be like a dead end where they maybe keep files and whatnot. Um, and uh, there is um, probably like three other exits um, okay. in in this like big reception area. Right. And you um, said all the all the chairs are stacked on top of the tables. Uh, they're all like uh, lob like knocked over um, okay. at different odd angles. Are there any um, drawers and stuff that we can root through? Sure, if you want to roll a investigation check. Cool. And then I'll shut up after this. 13. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, as you're rooting through these things, you'll see that... Um, let me make sure I got the timeline of this right. Uh, you can see a ledger um, of when the ship left, which was uh, about three months ago. Um, it says the ship is uh, Vesis, um, the UUL Zero Division class ship. Um, and this reception area mainly uh, logs people... Um, uh, going into like staff quarters and uh, actually working and stuff like that um, and uh, it seems like three days ago is when this tracking of people stopped um, so whatever happened probably happened three days ago or so alright three days you guys Ozzy do you got anything uh, if it's been ten minutes um then he's finished messing with his goggles, and they flash green in front of him, and then he gets, uh, yep, yeah, it's like looking through the matrix, trying to see any like anything that sticks out to him. I'm begging you, Ozzy. Okay. Tell me how cool you are. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, detect magic. Yep. Um, you got yeah, the bandages. So yeah, as far as detect magic goes, uh, I'll say it's um, also like technological magic effects as well. Yeah. Uh, in this area, um, hmm. uh, you get the sense just as the ritual finishes, you um, get the sense of this thing that uh, two pointed out maybe went into the ceiling. Like you get the sense of this thing uh, being somewhat magical um, or otherworldly um, and you have the sense that it's above you and then it goes out of range um, it moves away towards more the center of the ship okay so uh, I've got a direction that it went in do I get any inkling of uh, it says school of magic I don't know what that translates to here but uh... yeah you would get that. Uh, let's see how I define this. Um, so there are four main schools of magic. Um, uh, creation, destruction, um, uh, how would you describe the other two? Um, order and tyranny. Uh, and this is uh, a destruction type of magic. Um, and there is there's still uh, like abjuration and con conjuration and that type mm -hmm. of thing, but they're like subclasses of these uh, main. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's a destructive aura going toward the center of the ship. Well, yeah, this place blew up, didn't it? No, but very specifically, the a type of aura is emanating from whatever jumped up into their into those vents something to keep an eye out for. I'll at least have this up for 10 minutes so we can uh, have a be able to keep track of it for a little, if we follow, perhaps. Yeah. All right. There ain't nothing back there. It's just more reception and dead-end stuff. I found these papers. It says there's... You know, uh, it seems to be logs stopped three days ago. So that's probably when this all happened. Cool. Which way did we go Do we know of any weird events that happened in this part of space about three days ago? Um, let's see. Uh, 
Roll a history check. Sure. It's history. Nope. Nice. You don't know any like local events that were uh, like nearby, especially recently. But um, one of the big things about uh, let me get the name of the planet again. Um, uh, it was God. Why don't I have it? Oh, Vesta. Um, is that it's one of the closest planets to a grayed out star, um, which is one of these uh, like dense um, pockets of it's basically like a, a cold um, gas uh, giant grayed out um, no it used to be a sun um, and now it is uh, this dense piece of um, gas uh, yeah but that, that was a long time ago that was like 3000 years ago so psh, other than that I've been a little preoccupied as of late. Don't know much about current events. Yeah. Well, shall we go toward the center of the ship? Perhaps someone should keep an eye out while we do this. I'm a little... I'll be a little distracted following the aura. I ain't going in front no more. I'll go in front. So... Lead the way, big man. I'll go... I guess second. Cool. So, uh... As you guys are uh, heading forward, um, you'll see that uh, the um, little robot creature um, that was a hologram, he uh, like flits off and then flits on ahead of you guys. Um, you'll see he looks like um, a little two blue eyes. Um, oh, he's got here. a little tour guide. Um, and uh, oh. you will say... Let's see. Let me find the thing. Where are we headed to, little buddy? Uh, just getting my notes. Hey, Ozzy, you mentioned you you might handle the lights. I could, but I um yes yes we could switch off if possible. So. Yeah, let, let me let me pump up big man here. You see, he's so big, he look, he's got this whole corridor covered. You know it. And I'm just gonna maintain guidance on Kino until he has to do a check. I'm just just gonna be constantly cool. talking him up. That works. Um, yeah. So this little robot will say, uh, "Hello, are you rescue workers?" Uh. Yes. Sure. The navigators were worried you didn't receive our call. It's because we didn't. Yeah, it's true. Oh. We didn't. I yeah. could help you. Are you looking to save people? Uh, are we uh, looking to save people? Is that part of this? I think we're looking for crystals to make floaties. Oh, uh, cryo crystals. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Rescue workers don't usually look for cryo crystals, but I think I can help you out. If you please. All right, lead the way. Mm. Well, being rescue workers and all, you should know that there's no need to panic. There is 10 living attendants on the ship at the Ooh. moment. Well, that doesn't sound right. That sounds surprising, uh, considering how do you state. Uh, how do you know there's 10 living attendants? Well, that was from one day ago. My security cameras turned off since then. Do we count as part of those attendants? Little robot man? No. Oh, no. Oh, I, <laughs> I made a funny noise. Like hey, do, do that again, little robot dude. This is great. <laughs> I like this guy. All right, let's see what happens with this. This statement is false. I am confused. <laughs> no, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You're going you're, you're, you're to break him. All right. Hey, yeah. We're, so where are we going, little robot guy? 
Well, if you are looking for the Cairo crystals, that is what we're looking for. I think there are 12 still in use. You think? Hang on, you're a robot. What do you mean? Well, I am actually part of the ship. Uh, part of the ship, part of the crew. Much of the ship's sensors have gone down. An elbow, too, in this kind of mutter to government robots. I'm sorry, what? I'm going to elbow two and just mutter government robots. Can't trust the Empire. <laughs> Damn Empire. This guy. This guy. <laughs> uh, well, alright, well, just lead us to one of these crystals. How about that? From my sensors one day ago, they were in the labs to the front of the ship. All right. Now, what does the front mean? I can bring you a map if that would be useful. That'd be so useful. Somebody know how to read a map? Cool. Yeah, give it to me. I'm not gonna read all these maps. I've worked on these ships before. Come on, right. it's not that hard. Well, well, then if you know where, the, why aren't you leading the way then? I need the map. Oh my goodness! You worked on these ships. They're all the same. I don't know. There could be very. There could be even the slight differences between all these ships. It could be they, I mean, exactly. The For any McSmart like up there knows what he's talking about. I've served on a few ships in my time. Yes. Yep, that's enough. That's enough bandages. We get it. Hey, right, little robot we... man gave us a map. Flashbang, what do you think? We reception. We going. We're going up then. We let's just go up. Uh, yeah. Looks like we're gonna be going this way. You know, like point in the direction where the front would be. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You can uh, start heading that way. Um, yeah. There's a little bit of walking you do. Um, like, uh, I'd say like five minutes of walking uh, through these hallways. Um, and if you want to roll a survival check, um, uh, flashbang as you try to navigate this place. Throw nice. A, throw okay. A D, throw a D4 on it, guidance, because you're obviously yeah. in the lead. Sure, wow. sure. Wow. Let's go. Hey, there you go. Nice. Makes all the difference. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do a pretty good job in um, going uh, straight to the front of the ship, um, even uh, like finding a, a, a shortcut through one of the hallways that was uh, broken um, through uh, by whatever caused the explosion in the back or what seemed to be um do we see and, any of these quote unquote attendants while we're walking by uh it seems like this part of the ship is pretty empty um and uh yeah so you don't see or hear anything this part is especially um empty and uh you get to a bigger lobby um and uh, after you go out of these hallways, you see a large room that uh, this would probably be uh, like the center where everyone's walking through to get to various parts of the ship. Um, it's about 200 feet to the back of the um, this huge room. Um, and the only reason you can tell is this uh, flitting light on the other side of things. Um, and, uh, you'll see that a bunch of the ground, um, has collapsed into lower levels of the ship. Um, and there's almost this, uh, checkerboard of stable ground ahead of you. Um, yeah, some of the ground seems more stable than others. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna get over there and squat down and examine the collapse with my eyeballs <laughs> cool uh what are you trying to tell mainly um uh, I'm gonna, what caused it or yeah i'm gonna throw some dancing lights down there see how far it goes down and uh see yeah. what sort of like what could have triggered the collapse indeed and um yeah 
Let's see if there's uh, anything, sure. like any more like information to be gleaned other than, oh, this broke. Yeah, roll a perception check. Cool. Um, uh, well, um, can we just... Let, let, let me clear this. Uh, can we just assume that everything has uh, a guidance unless it's just like something sudden? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, as long as you know a person's doing a thing. Yeah. Uh, eight. Nice. Uh, the one thing you can tell, uh, it's kind of hard to see that far down, um, but uh, it's about like 40 feet of, uh, of a drop. Um, if you were to drop directly down um, and uh, you see the slight indication of uh, you swear you see like a leg sticking out from some rubble at the bottom uh, there might be some bodies down there dead guy down there too hey robot homie what's what's below here pull up that blueprint what's what's below here below here was the barracks as well as another lobby Is there a crystal down there? I don't believe so. It doesn't seem like we gotta go down there then. Alright. Hey, uh, since there is a bunch of, uh, unfortunate people down there, hang on, let me, uh, let me see if they're saying anything. And I'll close my eyes and hear the whispers on the wind and see if the spirits are talking to me today. And I'm just gonna, uh, roll up a, a tail. Ooh, nice. Uh, it's an eight. And uh, I'll start nodding. A little wispy. A little wisps my hair nodding with it. Um, I'm just kind of talking to myself. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, is that how it is? All right. I'll turn back to the group. Hey. Uh, little little phantom birdie told me. Uh, mm-hmm. well, it didn't tell me much of anything. There's there's definitely some dead people. They're they're definitely put to rest now. But uh, told me the tale of uh, being unseen is rather useful at this time. So if anybody wants to be invisible, uh, you just say the word, and then I'll say the word. And then just mm. salute and start looking for a way across. It might be best to send a scout forward in that sort of situation. Fast rabbit. <laughs> you see, like, uh, Flashbang has the blueprints, and he's, like, flipping them upside down on either side, just, like, not paying attention to what you guys are saying. Flashbang. What? Let me know when you want to be faster. Uh, do I, do I need to be fast? You might need to be if you're going to be our scout. Uh, okay. Flashbang, like, will, you, will you take a look around and like just kind of do your thing where you get a case of the zoomies and and do he'll and... like give like this very wide smile and he like tap his head. <laughs> All right, my guy. Um, let me. Uh... Let, let me let me let me talk to let, 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 let me talk at you for a bit. Let me tell you how to become invisible. If you, this something this little phantom told me, I'm gonna reach over and tell Flashbang the tale of the phantom, and I'm gonna uh, pat him on his little uh, tail poof, and there he goes. He's invisible and also guided. <laughs> Ooh. Uh- just before you make him invisible, just so I can, uh, you know, keep an eye on him in order to be able to cast this. Uh, yeah. So, basically, he is going to. Uh, Ozzy points his gate key at your feet in order to uh, basically conjure up something that makes gravity a little bit lighter on uh, on you, so you get to move a little bit faster around than usual. So, add an extra ten feet to your movement speed um... for an hour. And nice. hey, let's go ham. I'm also going to give. <laughs> I'm also going to give uh, Flashbang the ability to see things that are invisible. Uh, here, I'll also tell you how to see what I see for a little bit. I'm going to help him visualize some ghosts. 
Uh, so Flashbang can see Invisible for the next hour. Ooh, and, nice. Uh, All right. What is that? Ooh. It's the invisibility. <laughs> oh, okay. It, that's not a concentration thing. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. I guess so, if yeah. we're all helping out, and uh, Kino will pull out a carrot. All right, been saving this for a while. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> It'll just give you like, like the most hated invisible look that he could possibly <laughs> give someone. <laughs> all right, so you are, uh, you're all doped up. You got Long Strider, see invisibility, and guidance on you. You're invisible until the end of your next turn. Because cool. that's how long... Uh, the tail lasts. The, the, the tail lasts. Nice. And that is uh, a bark okay. inspiration. I'll mark well, you, he can move quite far in one turn at the very least. So, if you got somewhere to go, go now. Go get him, rabbit. It'll take like a quick little like step towards the edge, and then just some like one quick jump, just like oh, just start like running as fast as he can. Nice. Uh, what's your goal to get to the other side of the this like two hundred foot um, like lobby area? Um, yeah, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, maybe like look around as I'm like okay. like flying through this spaceship. Nice. Uh, so I'm assuming you take like the dash action, right? Yep. So how how fast are you going? Uh, I'm moving at 120 feet. <laughs> okay, 120. So in six seconds, uh, you cross the whole <laughs> lobby floor. Um, and I would tell you to make a deck save, but by the time you already left the area, um, parts of the ground collapse um, behind you. Uh, you you get to the other side. You, you seem to step on um, a, like... Uh, unstable part of the ground. Oh boy. But you get to the other side. Uh, roll a perception check. Da, 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 da. Nice. Um, oh, nice. So what you see as you get to the other side, um, you see a label um, which says uh, staff quarters uh, up ahead. Um, and it seems to be the place, uh, the area that you're supposed to be going, um, based on the map you're looking at. Um, but, uh, what you also see is, uh, you see a dead body, um, down the hall. And it is slumped against, uh, one of the walls. And, uh, you see something from the ceiling shoot down, grab the leg, and pull it up into the vents. Um, and, uh, you swear that it looked like a hand at the end of this elongated limb? That's all you could see. It's pretty dark down there. Do you have your goggles on? I do. Okay, I'll say since you have your goggles on, um, you swear that this, like, elongated limb that, like, pulled something the the corpse up into the vents um that it seemed to be a bunch of hands sewn together to make a long um like tentacle almost um and it pulled something up into the vents um and yeah that's what you see at least uh it's like with no body at all you don't see where flashbangs at you just seem like uh, guys, guys, there's uh, there's stuff in the vents. Don't go in the vents. There's creepy stuff in there. I just watched it grab some dead guy and pull it into the vents. You're just yelling this out loud. Yep. I look up to see yeah, if there's a vent uh, above us. Uh, fortunately, this lobby does not have any any such vents or anything. Um, <laughs> but uh, a few seconds pass, and you uh, you then hear blaster fire up ahead flashbang um and you can hear it like a, a muffled like yelling um yeah oh thank you uh, uh, guys there's somebody on the ship that's further ahead they're they're shooting right now there's people up there uh, do i do i go up there wait for us flashbang you should be getting 
Uh, can we see him? Or yeah, you can see him across the way. Well, I mean, he was invisible. Yeah. So but it was, I mean, that it was, was six seconds, around yeah. or okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. The moment I see him become visible again, I am going to telepathically link with him and just speak to him in his mind. You know, it might be better if you're not speaking it out loud. Just talk to me in here. What Have do you, you done this to, to Flashbang before? Have you talked to him in his brain? You're probably used to this by now. This probably. has been happening to you a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I talk back to you without actually just, like speaking out loud? That's the mind link, I yeah, you're so. okay. you're able to communicate with me. So. Okay. Uh, well, well, within there's... a number of feet up to, uh, equal to ten times my level. Mm, okay, so we would have to <laughs> move forward. So. Alright, well let's move forward then. Okay. Yeah, I would move yeah, forward enough in order to... to... Mm. Yeah, yeah, so oh. I'll say since, um, <laughs> since Flashbang already took out some of the unstable portions of the ground, it's easier to tell where the stable portions are. Um, so someone can make a survival check at advantage. Anyone here good at that? So, nope. Uh, <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm good, good at it. Here, let, let, stand back. Let, let the host take care of it. Trusting your judgment on this one. Nice. Uh, solid double 11s. Definitely 17. solid. Hey-o. Nice. Um, yeah, something's very strange about this ship in general. Um, as you, uh, like, focus um, on, like, pushing your consciousness um, further, you see um, places where people have walked before, um, and uh, the ghosts almost seem to lead you, uh, like, through the stable portions of the lobby. Um and eventually, you guys um, are ne right next to, um, or as close as you want to be to Flashbang in the other side of the room. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. Uh, it, it looks like I'm holding someone's hands. Like, we'll have you on the show next time, in the next episode, within a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Roll, roll an insight check. Coming up. So you're rolling an insight check. What's going 18. on? Eighteen. Interesting. You've never experienced uh, this weird feeling that comes over you as you um, have interacted with this like otherworldly um, portions of uh, the universe quite a bit. Um, there are portions of the ship that are oddly like the opposite of what a ghost is. You have a hard time coming into like grips with it, but like a ghost is basically what like life there was after they died. Um, whatever is on this ship is like the negation of all life. Um, and it's, it's almost like, like static noise, um, compared to an actual ghost. Uh, you get this, this weird, like premonition sense about this place. I, suddenly stop talking like in the middle of inviting them on the show and my eyes are uh, wide <laughs> uh -huh. do I sense that uh, Atmos is scared depends uh, maybe some realization or something like mid midway talking there, there's a little bit of fright in there uh, but it's mostly confusion it's, it's a little bit of fright wrapped up in confusion I reassuringly yeah. pat you on the shoulder and say Fear is the path to the dark side. <laughs> the it's, not, it's not often that I see you caught off guard, Atmos. What is it? Something's not right about the um, the people that were here before us. Uh... Well, yeah, I saw that guy get sucked up into the vent by that remember, thing. Remember, remember I told your, you. You could be as loud as you want in your mind palace. Just be, just try not to be so loud. You might attract some attention. What did you see out there? There's a little uh, bit more of white noise here, guys. Uh, I'm not feeling too great, but money is pretty good. Flashbang, sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. <laughs> Flashbang's going to focus like real hard to make sure he talks to you telepathically back. 
<laughs> and he's just like yelling in your mind, like, I saw it, it had like multiple arms, they were like sewn together. <laughs> this guy, and it like yanked him up into the vents, so don't go in the vents, they're dangerous in there. Does that description sound like anything that uh, Ozzy's heard of before? Uh, I would say, I would say no. Um, I mean, you, you could imagine it, but uh, nothing. I mean, it would take a would take a lot of work in order to stitch all those hands together. It'd probably take a good amount of time. I don't know if it's actually worth the effort, but they've had three days, Ozzy. But yeah, I I tell that to the rest of the group. So hands stitched together, tentacle going into the ceiling. This seems like some interesting experiments going on. If we if we find any of this, I'd like to take a sample, if possible. Uh, oh wait, wasn't there blaster fire? Was it was further uh, up yeah. there? We gotta go. As you, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh huh. You as perhaps, like there's some silence, they'll you'll hear the blaster fire and yelling yes, again, muffled. Yes, perhaps keep going further ahead and uh, keep us posted as we go forward. Through through this through this link, please through this link. Uh, yeah, sure. And this flash thing will just take off. <laughs> it's I would like hauling like to... ass past Atmos. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> sonic boom. Sonic boom. <laughs> sonic boom. <laughs> Uh, cool. So um, everyone sees that this is the staff quarters. Um, as Flashbang is zooming down the hallway, uh, you see a bunch of bunks, uh, like bunk rooms to your left and right. Um, and uh, you see a bunch of like papers scattered around and uh, lab coats and whatnot. Um, and you hear the blaster fire uh, coming up ahead and you actually see one of the shots go um, flying past uh, one of the halls and like uh, hitting the other um, wall and um, you will hear a, a voice screaming out who's there show yourself I'll kill every one of you nightmares and you hear bzz, bzz, as it keeps uh, there's more firing going on well, that doesn't I mean, sound good he... it's uh, just up ahead is he shooting uh, because of us we we are friendly, friendly. Don't shoot us. Uh, Why are you talking like that? Right? Okay. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what he's talking about. He's calling us nightmares. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to make gonna sure. He's going to take his, his little paws and put them around the corner and stick his head out real fast and like look down where this blaster fire is coming See, from. That, okay. that, that's how you get your face shot. <laughs> that's uh, a roll a... Um... Uh, I'm waiting. I'll say roll a perception shot. check. Hey, 13. Hey, there we go. Um, yeah, what you see ahead of you is uh, a scientist in a dirty white um, jumpsuit. Um, he has the number 34 on them. Uh, the collar of the jumpsuit, jumpsuit is cartoonishly big. Uh, he has a stain of blood which runs down his side. And he's old. He's holding this old uh, laser rifle. Um, he's pretty small. He's about four and a half feet tall. Um, so like gnome dwarf ish level. Um, he's got this uh, long, dirty blonde beard and a wild tuft of hair and some crazy eyes. Um, and roll a dexterity saving throw as uh, you duck back away. Wait, do I get do I get advantage or something on these? Oh, no, never mind. Just a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. There we go. Okay, nice. Yeah, uh, he shoots the wall, like, next to you. Um, he's not the greatest shot in the world. Um, and some of, like, the, the dust of, like, the, um, the shot, um, flies up into the air. Hey, you crazy um, old dude! It's uh, we're friendly, friendly, and he's gonna like wave his arms out in the hallway. <laughs> Stop! Get back! I'm not gonna You'll hurt you unless you shoot me again. You'll make more of them. That's all you ever do. What are you talking about? They're everywhere. Don't you hear the barks, the screeches? What kind of no, drugs just... do you want? And where can I get them? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Uh. If it's still within those 10 minutes, has Ozzy been picking up anything as he's been walking through this corridor? Uh, you get that same sense of, uh, something, well, let's see, 30 feet away. Yep. Uh, yeah, you, 
get the sense of these like uh pings uh around you that there's the same uh the same sense of these maybe creatures or whatever these things are um and they're around you in this hallway hmm. uh, you'd like say the feeling of three being surrounded hmm. yeah three okay. within 30 feet or so he points them out to the group and say i feel like we're starting to get surrounded by these auras it's a not a good sign i don't like the idea of possibly being sneak attacked so hey uh, good point, Ozzy. Do you want me to go mingle with this guy, get him on our side, so we're not being shot by a scientist, by some kind of dude, some kind of government dude, and also getting eaten by whatever's in these vents? Best to handle what we can for now, yes. So. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to go around the corner and I will mingle with this gentleman. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what is mingle. this? Uh, it's friends. <laughs> Oh, okay. uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk in and kind of like shake my shoulders, be like, "Hey, my name I am Atmos. I am the host of Space Ghosts. And who are you? Space Ghosts? I you I used to listen all the time, but you're not taking me. Uh, I'm not That's here the to, thing. Not, not here I, to I was too smart. Where all the this? others were dumb, dumb as rocks, and that's why they died. That's why we're here." Well, don't worry. I don't plan on having you on the show uh, for a while yet. Um, we're here to save you, but also your your cryo crystals. Cryo crystals, the research. Yep. That's what caused all this. Listen, we're, you and I are best friends now. Um, we're here to we're here to save you. Um, so, chill out. <laughs> uh, sure. Roll a uh, persuasion at advantage. Um, seeing as you got the mingle going. Natural fun, boys. Hey, there. 30. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm a level 5 bard. <laughs> yeah. You'll see uh, tears begin to uh, form in the scientist's eyes um, as he slightly lowers the rifle. And just as that happens, uh, you see eyes, two orbs of white behind um, the scientist. Uh, what do you do in that moment? Uh, I immediately uh, cast front of house, and I start talking to the eyes behind him, so that he can only, so that those eyes can only focus on me. Ooh. Uh, that is going to be a wisdom front save. Front house. Yeah. The uh, that? So in I'm gonna. Brawl? That's my yeah, guess. It's in <laughs> nice. So I uh, I gesture to like while I'm talking to whatever this these this pair of eyes is, I'm gesturing to the um Ooh. the to the what's his what is he is he a scientist or what? Uh yeah yeah he is um okay. a scientist uh you for for the sake of this there's probably names for each of the uh, um like races and whatnot that okay. But he's a gnome, more or less. Yeah. I'm, I'm gesturing towards this gnome scientist to like come here. Like I'm, I'm doing the, I'm doing the beckon motion, and trying uh -huh. to get him to come to me. And I'm talking to these pair of eyes. And hello, aren't you just big, beady, bright, and potentially ugly? Let's talk about how cool you are. Tell me, this is your first time on the show, maybe. And I'm just doing like gestures behind, behind me, like snapping my fingers and trying to get the rest of the group to come mm -hmm. in. Nice. Yeah, he will. Uh, he will start moving your way, um, and uh, okay. So they get. Um, how does this work? They're incapacitated. Inca they the are. Moment? No. Uh, they. They basically. The the intent is they can only focus on me. The mechanics is they have disadvantage on perception checks to perceive any creature other than me. But it's like it's okay. it's. it's it's not a very good spell. <laughs> it, uh -huh. it, it's, it's completely up to you, uh, basically. It, but the intent is, I'm talking to them, and I have their full attention. Okay. And I'm, and I'm yeah, I see, I and see I'm, what you're saying. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to like move towards maybe one of the corners or something, so the eyes have to look at me and not at the doorway where all of my companions would be coming in from. Cool. Uh, what languages do you speak? I speak uh, common elvish giant and um, a particular dialect of primordial. Okay. Mm. 
I think that this would probably fall under primordial. Um, as, uh, let's see. And my companions have heard me do this kind of showcase thing often, so they know what's up. <laughs> we always, <laughs> this is the go to whenever we see something weird. Then Ozzy will work his way in, but still try to stick toward the back of the room. I'm just I'm and Kino's running in. <laughs> Fist first. Yeah. Atmos is just constantly talking and he's pointing at the object of uh, that he has captured the attention of. Cool. Um Last you thing, hear make out what it is. What is gone? You just see uh two eyes even with your um your uh goggles they seem to be like silhouettes. Um mm -hmm. and they seem to be vaguely like hounds like wolves or canine in some way you see two eyes and uh teeth um and uh let's see atmos uh you hear in your mind death join us um and as that happens you're surrounded by things Oh, we got a mind talker, guys. Uh, he's saying death stuff, and I'm and I'm sure you really like death, uh, crazy, creepy death thing. Um, why don't you have a seat <laughs> next to me at this table here? We'll talk all about joining you when we come back from this commercial break. Oh, my God. Initiative <laughs> uh, rolls. Oh, so. it's got the tiebreaker weirdness. Yeah, so uh, everyone roll initiative for that. Okay. Uh... What am I Hello. surrounded by? Do I know yet? Do it, does anybody uh, know yet? All these weird numbers. <laughs> Who knows? All I saw was that they were like the shape of hounds. Uh huh. Canine eyes. You, you said, but yeah. I'm just imagining like Venom from Spider-Man, but, mm -hmm. but but like that silhouette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, does everyone have initiative? Okay. Um, oh, I have to hit begin combat? Yeah. Weird. Um, okay. Um. What we find? Dr. Faust. What is around oh. us right now? But we'll take a shot with his rifle. Just Boy. making sure we, we don't have a map Ooh. or anything, right? This is the area of the mind. Um, uh, this is theater of mind. Okay. I wanted to try okay some more that. theater of the mind. I'm cool with that, yeah. All um, right. Okay. He wounds one of these things. Yo, um, let's go. Uh, I, I will show you. So don't worry about distances, basically. I wouldn't... Um, oh, weird. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Well, okay, okay. Dang, this Thanks. is spooky town. This is too oh, spooky, geez. man. Oh, jeez. Uh, for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Dr. Faust uh, takes a shot um, into the, the night as um, it, it shoots into the center of one of the hounds that was talking, and he'll say, Tell them to shut up! Tell them to shut up! Uh, Kino, it is your turn. Well, I'm gonna shut them up for you, then. Manifest the Echo, get another Kino in there. Uh, echo Kino's gonna run punch the the one that just got shot twice nice uh. Uh. Shmeesh. Shmeesh, shmeesh. ooh uh let's see both of those hit nice sweet do a normal one here Oops. do another shmeesh. normal one here nice smash smash um Okay, that is definitely enough as you uh, punch this thing uh, and you hear this screech in your mind. Um, it's confusing. It like, It's almost like you don't hear it. It's more of like a reverberation in your like actual skull. Like These things like don't seem to talk. They're just talking directly into your head. That was um, unpleasant. Okay. Yo, let's this go, one Kino. over here. <laughs> um, well run forward and attempt to bite Kino. Um, uh, is he trying to bite me or the Echo? 
Because the Echo is the one uh, that ran forward. That's true. And they are, oh, they're, they're uh, different ACs, right? Yep. Okay. I think uh, since uh, your Echo ran forward, they'll try to bite your Echo. All right. That hits. Nice. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. AC 17. Sweet. Ooh. Doesn't hit. Damn. Shout out to okay. proficiency bonus level 5. Dude, plus 3, man. That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, you'll see uh, what happens is like it clamps around the e uh, the echoes uh, the Kino Echo arm, um, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll see that these like uh, layers of jaws just keep biting into it like multiple times. Um, oh god, but is it, it friendly? can't get through it. Uh, let's see. Uh, up ahead, um, one of them. One of these dark creatures will attempt to catch you in a web. Um, and I'll say uh, Faust, Kino, um, Flashbang. I think you are the three that were like up ahead. Um, yep. mm -hmm. Everyone else will be around the corner. Are you saving throw? That's not my strong suit. Just kidding. Yo. Nice roll. Oh gotcha. my gosh, nice. Who needs bonuses when you just roll great on the die face? <laughs> oh yeah. Just do that all the time. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, if it were uh, Ozzy, he would just roll a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly are they shooting at us? Dr. Faust. Right? Uh, did I get the right one? Atmos. Um, Me all the way in the corner? Safe as well. Uh... <laughs> Did, did you have a turn? It Not seemed yet. like uh, you were up ahead with Dr. Faust leading him back, so okay. uh, I would assume that you sure. were up there. Sure, this is strength. Yeah. Strength save, yeah. Also, does it, does it look like webs? What does it look like? <laughs> uh, you, you just get this sense of dark like pressure on your whole body, um, and uh, it attempts to keep you uh, down. Um, and as you look on the ground, it's as if uh, there are leaks in the the floor, and uh, black ooze seems to um, pool up from under you, um, as if like the whole place is being submerged. All right, uh, Zedras. Okay, so are any of these things uh, grouping close together with each other, or are they all spread out? Uh, I'll say um, it's generally uh, like these. Three, two of the the hounds and the thing that had the the webs uh, seem to be close to each other. Okay, so two of them you would say are within five feet of each other, maybe. The. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That okay. Makes sense. Um. Ozzy is going to load a uh, level one battery pack into his gate key, and he is going to aim it forward, opening up a portal in front of him and a shard of ice shoots out so that's ice knife nice Oy. so that's an attack all right hey. 25 to hit so that's Ooh. 1d10 damage and then so deck saving throw dc14 for the two of them okay for the three of them right oh wait no it's just two i think Got there's it. two yeah hey. well Ooh. Hey. Okay, so okay, let's so see, five feet or, or take. So one of them will take the 2d6 damage, but uh, is that the one that I hit or the one that I... Um... Um, yeah, it's the one that you hit. Okay, so first is the normal damage. So, okay. Um, how is that broken down? So that's five it. damage to the uh, for the hit, and then the splash damage is eight. So that's, uh, yeah, 1d10. So that's 5 piercing damage and then 8 cold damage. And the 8 is what applies to the other person? That's mm -hmm. whatever failed the deck save. Yeah. Okay, the other person has nothing happened to him? It says, yeah, um, the target and each creature within 5 feet of it must succeed on a deck save or take 2d6 cold. So... From my no understanding, damage, it's yeah. there's no half damage in that case. It's a... Okay, yeah. Okay, well, one of them, uh, you completely 
take out the one that you're aiming for. It doesn't splash to the next one, but um, yeah. So, uh, so you open up this portal, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was. It might be interesting if you're like it's just a portal to like another world, and like yeah. it's a blizzard planet that just yeah, like, exactly. shoots an icicle. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going yeah. for, like opening a portal to a, a planet of ice, and then just uh-huh. it's uh, you know they're exposed to the elements, and that's what happens. Uh-huh. So. Nice, that's awesome, cool, Atmos. Okay, uh, you mentioned I was surrounded. Is anybody? Uh, threatening my space? Uh, not immediately. Um, okay. But you see multiple okay. eyes um, out there. Is are are any Is of the, the nasties are any of the nasties threatening any of the other spaces? Uh, n- the only uh, enemies that are close to your friends are the ones that are close to Kino's uh, Kino's echo duplicate. Okay. Yeah, echo. Is, um, is the echo near somebody? Like, is it near the doctor or something? So I, I think that's kind of what I was going for. Um, the echo's near the doctor. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Um, so, someone is in melee combat with with extra Kino, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm Atmos is gonna continue talking to this big nasty that he saw in the corner, trying trying to maintain its attention, um, and then he's going to uh, point at the uh, crazy spooky thing next to Kino's Echo, and uh, some wispy smoke is gonna come out of his mouth, and then just whoosh over towards the nasty, and I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers. Nice. As the spirits that flow around, uh, I have no effect. <laughs> oh, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you once again get the sense that these things are like nothing you've interacted with. They're like negative ghosts, uh, and it's very hard to um, affect them in that way. All right. And then for my bonus action, I'm just going to uh, kind of mutter out. Mm, telepathically uh, hey anybody got any good stories to tell I could really use your help right now and then I'm gonna roll on the the tail table and then that's my turn nice uh, as I'm just still kind of like maneuvering toward a corner to where um, the thing only only can look at me and can't see everybody can see anybody else I'm trying to keep everybody safe okay 11 that's my turn ooh nice um uh, if you want to roll a perception check, flashbang, um, oh just in the middle of this. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, the main thing, uh, especially since you saw the weird hands um, pulling uh, one of the corpses away, uh, you see this light coming from the vents above, um, and it's moving around uh, in the hallway up ahead. Um, yeah, that's just all you notice. Okay. Um. Where's this, like, where's the big baddie looking one? Um, one of them looks different from the others, and it is, like, halfway up the wall. It almost, where most of them look like hounds, this thing almost looks like a spider. Um with like multiple limbs coming off it and these two eyes. Bang. Which one am I talking Flash to? Flashbang. Oh yeah. Yeah, which one is he talking to? Uh you're talking to the one um that uh it's one down down the hall. Uh I'll say this one. Okay. Since uh the others can't focus on like anyone else. Just curious. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. So in that case, do I know which one Atmos is talking about? The one that's like looks like it's going for him? Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, facing his yeah, direction. Sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's one like down a different hall that um or yeah, there's one that's facing down at most. Uh Flashbang is just gonna take off running towards that one as fast as he can. Nice. And he's gonna like start sliding on the ground as he gets up to it, and he's gonna like flip up and try to give it like two kicks in the face. Nice. Sick. Sliding kick. Get it? Rabbit kick. Yes, nice, that's a one. hit. Ooh. Uh, first one hits. Cool. 
Seven and then damage. would I be able to take an extra attack as my bonus action? Uh, Monks, yeah. I think it's like so, yeah, flurry of blows with the key point. Well, um, you've also got your just martial arts target. attack where you could just yeah. bonus action normal attack. Yeah. My bonus okay. action when I use the attack action with an unarmed strike or monk weapon. Yep, yep. Yep. Nice. Woo! I'll send out another another one as I'm flying. Wow. Same uh, one. <laughs> nice. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I think what happens is like you kick one, like you kick it right in the muzzle, and then like you try to kick two more times, and the muzzle disappears, and like three more muzzles appear around your feet, um, and you uh, like miss the other two, thinking they're in the same place. Ah, come on! Is that all you got? To bring it! Bring it, yeah. stupid dog! Uh, uh, gosh, why why is this battle music keep ending? Don't give in to hate, Flashbang. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay. Um, this one over here. Um, uh, okay, is fighting the Kino clone. And we'll attempt to bite it. I'm not you can try. Oh, I need my strength saving throw. Big save! Ah, uh, that misses. 14 still not enough. Yeah, it's just clamping down on the arm. Um, and it is not enough. Uh, oh, uh, this, this one. Cute. Uh-huh. This one over here will attempt to uh, bite back at um, Flashbang. 15? Does that hit? Against two. You're a speedy rabbit. Flashbang. You, man. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's my AC. Oh. Nice. Oof. Oof. Cool, yeah. Oh, geez, that's that's almost max damage. That's um, fine. Yeah, uh, oh. the jaws will clamp around uh, and then makes the, that deck save uh, or strength save. Sorry. Oh, Good to know that's just a high roll. It's a <laughs> down. Uh, strength save. Da, 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 da. Ooh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, nice. they clamp around um, your feet and attempt to drag you down. Um, but uh, yeah, you manage to gavel away. Get off me, you um, stupid dog! Two. To the second. The chosen. <laughs> the chosen one. Yo, get oh, it. The second you. chosen yeah. one. Um, what's, uh, what's my uh, front flipping ability look like? What do you mean? Look like? Front flip. like how many times you can make me roll to do how many front flips in one turn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the standard f front flip ability. Uh, yeah. You can just run. <laughs> well, don't you have like that jump, which allows you to. Uh, Cyborg warriors have you, a thing. Yeah. Yeah. But... You can, you can front flip more if you use that jump. I'll say that. Okay. I only want to front flip once then, but here's what I want to okay. do. I, I, we're in like the control room type area, right? You're in a hallway. You're in the staff quarters, so there's a bunch of halls Bunks, uh, going right? each way. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. How how far away? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm yeah. gonna run forward with my lightsaber. Okay. I'm gonna do a front flip. Okay. I'm gonna jump. Do a front flip off of something. I'm a halfling, by the way. So I'm do, I'm a small small Jedi doing the front flip. Yeah, 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 uh, with that music playing in the background. <laughs> uh, I will take a swipe at the first no good doer I see. Better hit after all this. <laughs> yeah. After that front flip? Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> fear, fear not. Fear so not. There's, okay. there's two kind of like, uh, you're like in the split of the hallway, and Kino is fighting some, and um, Atmos and uh, uh, Flashbang are fighting the others. How do I okay. apply? Uh, how do I apply movement? Do you know, uh, Acel? Like, it's it's giving me like an after image when I move people. Oh, because it's, like we're it's in the middle of the with, turn. Uh, it's you progress to the next one turn. of the modules. Okay. Well, well, there you go. Well, um, no, you get two attacks though. You are low. Yeah, yeah. I get a few. You got I attacks. get a couple. <laughs> uh, so, so my point was, really which, want, yeah, which but, hall are you going down? Are you going down Flashbang Atmos Hall or uh, Kino and the Doctor Hall? What, who looks like they need more help? I'm Up good. 
I'm going after Kino and the doctor. Okay, cool. Yeah, you... Okay, do a flip, you uh, slash through them, and, like, they... Sp uh, the hound, like, splits apart and reforms around your blade. Okay, so this um, time I do a 360 spin. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it doesn't it's apart the other way. But it looks dope, though. So yeah. That's good. First it hamburger splits, then it hot dog splits. And, that was amazing. <laughs> Atmos, I know you like dancing with these hounds, but I, I need you to actually hit something. Are, aren't you Atmos? Yeah, aren't you? <laughs> did I say Atmos? Yeah, 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 you did. Sorry, the spirits got me all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> spirits this time you get I'll angry. do a backflip oh, oh shit oh my goodness this Wait, this you're... is where I messed up the whole god dang it <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh that's enough stuff. that's enough Whoa! Wait, are okay. you are you dual wielding or he's action, action, surging? action surging oh you're action yeah, surging okay right. yeah go for it yeah 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 okay so I'll hit him with my lightsaber and then in addition to that I'm gonna throw the force at him and I'm gonna roll my D8 and apply 10 damage total. Nice. That was a lot of attacking for 10 damage. You still have one more attack. Yeah, you got you got one yeah. more, man. Wait, wait, wait. If that why, doesn't already kill. Why this do is, I get? This is the power you, of a fighter because the oh, attack the action action gives you two actions or it gives you two attacks. Oh, oh, yeah, you got an extra attack. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You do the attack action twice, basically. So, like, you get two for that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Fighters. Oh, slash. They're cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Dang, my guy. It still my looks cool. It still looks cool. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. We just rapid slash into this thing. Um, One of them connects uh, fully. We'll work on your um, choreography. Okay, one of the hounds is going to try to bite Flashbang. I'm going to bring it down. 15? Yeah, he hit me on that. Oh, just barely again. Yikes. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, it's big damage. Each bring time. it on. Holy shit. Um, and another strength save to see if you get knocked prone. Ooh. Shit. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, you guys see at the end of the hall, uh, Flashbang just being um, surrounded by these gnashing teeth, and uh, he is on the ground. Like a very small rabbit, I am getting mauled. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what the hell? Round two. Fight. Well, round two. Round two. Um, Fight. Uh, um, honestly. The doctor is just going to uh, disengage and run back. Um, what? You coward. Yeah, he All says, right. every man for himself. All right, well, I guess I'm going to just keep punching this thing. Nice. Sick. Not twice. Hey. I'm going to just do that damage first. Eh, it's all right. Nice. Uh, yeah, you see two uh, to the second do one million slashes and five back flips and one million front flips. <laughs> and then you bash the thing in the head with the, your arm. Um, and it is solidly dead. To be fair, what, what you did was way cooler. True, true. All right. Um, I'm going I'm to move. I'm not done yet. Uh, I'm going to move my, sh my shadow closer to the spider then. And then I'm gonna teleport to him. Nice. Uh, how far away is this guy? Can you do that. Um, it, he's within range. He's not that far back. These halls are pretty uh, pretty oh. close. In which case, I'm just gonna keep my shadow feet, next to. Thirty feet. Thirty feet. I'm, I'm gonna keep my shadow where it is, and I'm just gonna run up and punch this guy. Okie doke. Big punch. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so you ran forward. Um, I'm gonna, since I didn't, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna run forward, punch, and then teleport back to where my shadow was. Ooh, switch places. 
Yeah. Okay. It switches you, right? That's how it works. Yeah, it switches our positions. Okay, let me uh, let me do something. That way we can tell which one's which. Yeah. Sure. Rad. There you go. Cool. Uh, spider one will um, let's see, make two attacks. Um, we'll attempt to claw the clone, the echo. Miss. Ooh. <laughs> uh, and attempt to Miss. claw it again. Oh, jeez. The armor of this uh, armored Level arm. Five echo knight arm, 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 <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's so cool, man. Yeah. So nutty with it. Cool. Zedras. Okay. So, um,. I'm seeing that uh, Flashbang is starting to get surrounded a little bit. Or, uh, he's got me behind. <laughs> you see Flashbang on the ground, and he's getting, like, ripped back and forth. <laughs> okay. I'm like, get off of me! Okay, I'm really hoping that this thing can... Uh, this can it's get like it a away. dog so nipping and shreds. Uh, yeah, that's basically what's happening. Yeah. All right, so he... Uh, Changes the coordination, uh, the coordinates on his gate key a little bit, and he will use infestation. Uh, a portal opens up, and a bunch of mites and fleas start attacking this, uh, you know, this shadow creature in front of him. So uh, DC fourteen con. Gareth yeah, went to go pee. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping that it works and then it moves in a random direction away from you so that way you're not engaged with the enemy. So I hope so. Well, well I'm still like him. Well he pro oh yeah, I guess I'm only prone. Yeah, yeah. prone. Are you prone? I, I thought, thought you were I was grappled. Like grappled. I thought I was grappled by him. I don't know how just I'll prone. ask here. Yeah. Oh, easy peasy. You just I'm grappled, he'll just like drag me with it. <laughs> <laughs> But it's force movement, so maybe it'll move it away, and then you can get out without having to disengage and stuff. So. Yeah. I mean, there's two of them yeah, on you. Are they both cool, on? Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, okay. Yeah, they are both in um, melee range, but one of them, well, one of them knock prone. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, which one do you go for? The one that seems already hurt, or? Um. Yeah, the one that's injured. Okay. Um, so that's a cool. DC 14 con save. Ah, uh, damn. Nothing oh, happens. just slightly. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, gonna have to possibly change the calculations on this a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's my turn. But... Okay, doke. Yeah, it, it, yeah. These uh, these like insects fly into it and seem to uh, like get sucked into whatever this weird non-physical hound is. Hmm. Okay. Atmos. Okay. Atmos sees Flashbang knocked to the ground like he got pushed down into the sandbox on the playground. I'm going <laughs> to shoulder barge through the uh, the dog wispy smoke thing and obviously not make contact, but now I'm on the other side. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hey, no, 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 don't look over there. Look, look here. Camera's right here. Look at the camera. And I'm going to stab him <laughs> with my spiral <laughs> right here. <laughs> Nice. Um, still Get continuously him. talking with uh, front of house, trying to keep his attention on me. Uh, do I have advantage on this? Because I'm flanking him now. I'm, the, I'm on the other side. Uh, plus two. Plus, plus dose? two with flanking. Let's yep. go plus dose. Twelve. <laughs> uh, thankfully. Oh, actually, yeah, you would have. You would have hit anyway. Let's go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you hit. Big three damage. Nice. Hey, it's something. As the the rapier spirals forward and twists, little it's got a little button on it that goes. That's adorable, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't call it adorable. Uh -huh. That's pretty. That's fucking scary. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Uh, Flashbang on the ground. Um, if there's nothing else from Atmos. Uh, let's see. I got a bonus action. Um, uh, nah, I'll chill. I'm good. Okay. Flash rain. So since I'm not prone, do I have disadvantage on these attacks? Uh, well, you can half movement to just get back up. Oh, okay. 
holding you there. Cool. We have a uh, lot of movement right now. That's a lot of movement. True. Uh, Flashbang's gonna do this like quick little like whirl spin on his hand and hop back up on his feet. Nice. Yeah. And he's just gonna he's gonna jump up and he's gonna try to kick either side of this dog's head three times. Ba, ba, ba. Kick him with a floppy foot. He'll break dance on him. That's what I'm saying. Get nice. get stomp on his face. Pull a Chun Li. Let's go. Like, stomp. Spinning. Stomp. And just kicking it, like, yup, 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 oh no! Nice! It's just one. one. The nat one? Hey. There you go. Let's nat go! Oh, hey. Man, look at those extremes. Balancing it out. <laughs> um, uh, the first hit. Does the first okay. one kill it, is the question. Yeah, with, so. that, with that first one, you kill uh, one of them as it dissipates. The um, other one did 11 damage. Uh, <laughs> that was the correct one. Other one did 11 damage. Holy crap. This other one just uh, seems to barely be um, keeping corporeal as you kick it so hard that the eyes like spin around and swirl in like a whirlwind and then it begins barking again. Uh, and uh, you'll see Flashbang just like bouncing back and forth real fast and he's like, come on, bring it on. Is that all uh -huh. you got? Nice, nice. Uh, to the second. The doctor just uh, brushed past you with his rifle um, and is behind you. Um, and there are two more shadowy creatures. I'll deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anything to, uh, uh, you know, do a front flip off of? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say there's, um, like a tipped over desk from one of the, um, bedrooms, um, that have, has flown out into the, the hallway. Like to run towards spidery felt. That's the spidery fell, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I have a straight shot to him down the hallway or. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about positioning really. I mean. All right. Well, I want to run towards spider fellow. I want to leap. And then I want to slash him with my lightsaber. Nice. We'll skip the front foot. Ooh. Oh, I mean, I forgot That's last serious. time, but if I happen to hit, I get serious. plus two to all my attacks because of my damage. damage. Yeah, plus two yeah. damage. Uh, that hits. First one hits. <clears throat> so, eight. Eight damage. Oh, and then second... I guess I should have rolled them both, sorry. It doesn't matter. Anyways. Oh, Jesus Christ, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Eight. Uh, second one, 11 does not hit, unfortunately, but the first one, you slash it through. And then I'm going to throw some force at it. Oh, shit. Big push. Five additional damage. Force damage. Yeah, it thunks into this thing as it has trouble keeping on the wall. And I yell at it, Once you start down the dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny. <laughs> yeah. You just have a list of Star Wars quotes right now. <laughs> <laughs> you totally yeah. do. Yeah, uh, you'll I see on... I haven't started yet, but I will. Yeah, you'll see on its uh, abdomen just like ten more eyes open up and just stare at you menacingly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay. I think all Wolf. the Star Wars quotes I've tried to use, I've botched. I don't think any of them have been close <laughs> enough. Very good. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, this one over here will attempt to attack Flashbang. Damn! Oh, dang! Oh, man. These hits. Dang! Oh. Holy goddamn. Are you still alive? You're alive? Oh my god, alive. just barely. Oh I'm my god. I'm strength saving throw again. Do we have healers? Do we have a healer? I actually uh, can... I can actually help a little bit with that, so... Okay. Flashbang starts getting mauled again. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are down on the ground. Round three. Round three. Bring it! The doctor turns a corner. Uh, Kino. See this thing open up its abdomen with multiple eyes. Well, time to start squishing some eyeballs. Uh huh. Slam. 
Ooh. One punch. Come on, it's slam. slam. One mm. punch, two punch. Oh, Come on, it's slam. slam. <laughs> I, li I, like I like playing a fighter. I like playing a fighter. Alright, so four for the first one. It's a good feeling. And 14 okay. for the second one. That's good damage. How do you want to kill this spider? Hey! hey. Slam him, Kido. Slam him. <laughs> Get it. You see the arms start to light up, and he just grabs inside the abdomen and starts ripping out as much eyeballs as he can. Uh-huh. Yeah, you uh, pull apart this thing as um, this, like, shadow, uh, like, leaks onto the ground. Um, and, uh, yeah, eventually there is nothing left to pull as it comes apart um, and is very much dead. Freaky big alien thing. Uh, All right. And Zedras. Or I if there's anything else you have. I'm, ju I'm just going to start walking up to the next hall, see how they're doing. I'm sure they're yeah. fine. Yeah, you look down the <laughs> hall and this thing... Uh, Flashbang looks very hurt, but this thing also looks like it can't handle much more. You got a carrot. Perhaps our little just give me like the saddest little thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. If you go down, I'll be able to help you. You, you hear that voice in your head, and uh, okay, You're screaming in return. Internal <laughs> 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 screaming, but for real. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so Ozzy's going to reach out to the, uh, you know a little voice inside of his head and say hmm, perhaps attacking the mind will be a little bit more effective and you will cast mind sliver intelligence saving throw dc 14 when these things have a plus 17 to intelligence okay so it fails <laughs> so, okay nice 2d6 look at that nine Ooh. psychic nice. damage nice brain blast uh brain yeah blast. How, do you, uh, how do you kill this thing uh just Entering its mind, reaching out to the, uh, you know, to the spirit that's connected to me. I'll uh, just put my hand forward instead of using my uh, my gate key, and then just point, and then they feel a psychic attack in their mind, and just mind blow. Just <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, you guys feel a uh, like cold presence as uh, this thing just um, dissipates in front of you, being torn apart by some uh, otherworldly force. Um, and with that, um, the hall is empty. Uh, All right. Uh, Zedras will. Well, yeah, Ozzy will walk up to uh, the flashbang, check on him. Are you gonna be His okay? jumpsuit like has her. a bunch of bite marks in it, and I'm just <laughs> laying there. I think we might need to patch you up a little bit. Hey, Do you think yeah, that would probably be great. It, yeah, Ozzy, l l let me do it, Ozzy. Uh, I, I, was, I reached out to the spirits and the, and the thing, and they seem real, real apologetic about what happened to Flashbang here. Can uh, let me offer some assistance for him, and I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of like gesture to flashbangs. So come on, bring it in, bring it in. We'll, we'll powwow right. after the show. Did you not see me just get mauled? Yeah, I'm gonna fix it. Come, <laughs> here. come here. Don't worry. Flashbang. Come here. If you'd like Nothing to conserve your these... energy, I am able to use this kit here to help. But no one's you got a kit? Where'd you get that kit? On whose money, Ozzy? My own. Okay. I. I <laughs> you should know this. I have. I'm a field medic. It's. You know, I I forgot. I I keep thinking like whether you're the gatekeeper or the key master. I keep getting it confused. <laughs> I have the healer. Uh, I can use the healer feet. So, um, yeah, as an action, spend one of my healer's kit to, uh, yeah, restore one d six plus four hit points to it, plus additional hit points equal to the creature's maximum number of hit dice. So, one d six plus uh, nine in this case because we're level five. So. You can so. just keep doing it, huh? Because <laughs> it's an action. And uh, but the creature can't regain hit points from this feat again until it finishes a short or long rest. Oh, so, okay. but if we so short rest, rest then only that could six, six back. Well, actually, it's another plus five on that, so you get eleven. Thanks. Dang. Okay. It's all right. I also have this carrot. That's one of Been my healer's kit uses. So I'll keep track of that. Do and, uh, 
So just patching up any of the little holes that you've got in you and yeah, just quick, quick job like you would on the field. Hey, where'd that scientist guy go? Hey, robot dude, where'd, where'd the scientist guy go? That was me? <laughs> no, I'm talking to the blue robot. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a robot. But I will see this smashed, like, ghost ooze spider and just ad admire Kino's handiwork with a, with a, with a, a couple fingers on my chin. You know, I do yeah. like the work you do, Kino. This is this is some good stuff. Oh, thanks. I've been having a really good day. I think it's all the all the positive reinforcement you've been giving me. I mean, you're swole. Oh, I'm super swole. Yeah, I mean, look I at do, you. I don't lift for nothing. He'll start. He strikes some poses like, oh yeah, look at this. I know, <laughs> does like the like the thumb and forefinger like makes a little camera shot and just starts going around him like. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes, that was quite impressive. Is there are there any remains left behind from these things or did they just dissipate uh they seem to dissipate and um roll uh i'll say you can roll a i'll say a religion um just religion as you think uh, about how you fought these oh, well, glad these things dissipate He's not the best real of that, hard to get this off my hands can <laughs> um so there's basically the physical world and um there are things kind of beyond the physical world and um as you know atmos uh deals with that type of thing um and uh i mean you've got your uh kind of spirit as well mm -hmm. and it seems like these things are similar where they almost were never a physical thing like even when you're fighting them they they barely had any physical presence. Um, they are more like this psychic kind of thing beyond uh, physical. Hmm, interesting. Perhaps they're bleeding over from another dimension. So. Yeah, yeah, that's a so. decent. Why, um, why, yeah, they're why they be bleeding into another dimension onto a ship? Well, they're definitely bleeding over into here enough to make Flashbang bleed. True. Good no point. Kino, Zetras, you guys spend some time in other dimensions, don't you? Ah, uh, nah. I came from the future. I've made friends. Never seen yes. anything like this before? Actually, something a little bit similar. I, I've made a couple of friends from a from a shadowy dimension. You might see them later. Their names are Freddy, Jason, and Michael. So. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, nice. names. Oh, God. Shit. Cannon. Been ah. now. Our yes, guest. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go take off running in the direction that our guest left. Yeah. Um, the little oh, robot yes, will say. Um, uh, you asked about him. Yeah. Um, and he he will say. Uh, My sensors have been down. I would tell you his location, but I don't know at the moment. Do I see him? Uh, what the little robot guy? No, the scientist. Oh, the scientist dude. Um, yeah, roll a, I'll say roll a athletics check to, um, try to keep up with them. The only plus zero I have, 13. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, you're running after him. You heard, uh, some bustling, um, back, uh, the way you came. Um, and, uh, as you turn one of the corners, uh, you will see him at the other end of the hallway. Um, kind of panting and out of breath. Hey, uh, gnome scientist man. Hey, welcome back. Um, what is it? The show's over here. Come with I us. I don't want to talk to you. I told you. I just want to leave this damn ship. Well, what I'm trying to say, my good man, is if you come with us, we will be able to get you off of this ship and into the warm embrace of some Federation bosom. They're going to pay us handsomely. You're going to pay you handsomely, and then you get off of this ship and you don't get any kind of weird ghost dog monsters in your head. How does that sound? Yeah. You'll see, you'll see like, the words hit him, but he's just... I'm I'm so tired of dealing with this. I'm just so tired. Um 
and you will see, uh, for a second, you see a light um, on the ceiling uh, moving between vents uh, down the hall. Yeah. What, what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, man, I get you. You're you're tired. Come over here. I've got I've got a I've got a I've got a story to tell you that'll pep you right up. Come on. And I'll take a step forward and I'll extend my hand in a very gentleman fashion, trying to persuade him to get the F over here right away. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, you're like 30 feet apart. It's like he was down the hall when you saw him. Yeah. Um, Yeah, he will, he will, uh, like, put down his blaster um, and start moving towards you. Um, Okay. And just that moment, uh, one of the arm tentacles shoots down um, around his neck, and let's see if this hits. Oh my goodness. Dodge! Come on. Dodge! I yell out, dodge! Why won't you dodge? <laughs> <laughs> I give, I give, uh, I, I channel the spirit of a certain uh, alien, and he just yells out, dodge! <laughs> <laughs> Please uh, be not put down. Disadvantage. <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> Attacks of disadvantage. Dodge. Horrifying. Leap towards me. Dodge. Let's see Does it here. hit? I'm just looking at the, the stats of these. Oh no. Oh no. By the way, meanwhile, does anybody else need patching up? <laughs> a... Oh god. It just yes, hits. Yes, it, it unfortunately just hits um, based oh, on no. this. Um, and uh, he gets pulled um, five feet, I believe, which is enough to put him in the vents. Um, is it five or ten? Now, what kind of crunching sounds do we hear from this guy's boat? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the big news. I need that big news. How um, big is the hole in the vent? That's the question. <laughs> yeah. The- yeah, it is in the hole. <laughs> yeah, the, vent, the vents don't seem um, too large, but um, oh no, oh yeah. no! So uh, oh, it gets um, the doctor gets pulled up into the vent, and you just hear screaming echoing from the vent. And what you Shit. all notice is um, rapidly, as if he is shooting through these vents and hitting corners, the top vents start shaking um, violently um, as uh, this dude gets um, pulled through the vents and um, towards the core of the ship. Uh, Um, Seeing that I'm no longer able to save him, Amos has probably been in a lot of situations where you can't save people anymore. Can I throw out my finger and deliver a hollow whisper to the creature that just devoured this gnome and ask only the single word why um uh it will respond to you uh Ooh, it's a chatty creature very tall here yeah i mean maybe we don't have to fight these guys maybe <laughs> why <laughs> you can respond to this message <laughs> one silence End. Yeah. So you get three words. One, silence, and end. Um, that rattle in your brain as you attempt to connect to this thing. Okay. Uh, if, if it's still within range, I'll, I'll just re- reply, uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I'm going to casually walk over and grab the dude's laser rifle. It's mine now. Cool. You have got an old rifle. And I will retreat to the safety of my group and tell them what happened. One silent and end. That's what he said. I know. He was in the vents, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to try something. And I don't I recommend speak. getting in the vents. Oh no, never! Flashbang's gonna take out his little like welding blowtorch, and he's gonna go over to one of the vents, and he's gonna start trying to like weld it closed. Hey, you know, Flashbang, that's a decent idea. Sure. Um. Yeah. Uh. That you can. Um, <laughs> it's it's already like got a screwed cap on it, but it seems like this thing can 
create enough force to break open the cap. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you weld it, weld it shut, and it would take a harder. It would be a harder time to get through that. All right. And just any vis that I see, I'm gonna go through and like give it like a quick little like zip on either side of it, just to make uh -huh. it a little bit harder to get through. Yeah. Nice. And, oh, oh, and speaking of seeing, until the next when the DM says you can't anymore, uh, you can see invisibility. So if there's any like ghosty True. things or invisible little things, then you can see them. Perfect. Nice. Your welds are strong, Flashbang, but they might not be a match for the dark side. <laughs> are you saying my welds aren't strong enough? No, I said your welds are strong, Flashbang. <laughs> That's what I thought. Dark side is unnatural. Let's just tone it down a second there, Flips, okay? Well, okay. You, you didn't see those arms reach out of the vents? Uh, I saw them, but I mean, I'm well with you a, see? We're in a very dark place, Flashbang. We should keep moving. Yeah, we're, where did, um... Yeah. Where did we find you? <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I forgot. Yes, yeah, where did we it. find you, to the second? I just... You picked me up. I was hitchhiking on a planet, and you guys had a—I had a sign that said, "Looking for adventure," and you guys pulled over and picked me up on the side of the space causeway. I remember that. Space I immediately yeah. thought, "Yeah, free labor is pretty good." Yeah, exactly. Oh. Jedi don't work for money. We'll kill for Jade. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the Jedi? <laughs> Where are those people? We're an, we're an ancient order. Are you now? Stro highly trained knights that fight for good. You know what? Like you're not. Flips? You know? I like the flips you do, man. They're oh, yeah, cool. and we do flips, too. That's like, that's kind of like the cost of entry, you know? You mean like, kind of like one flips. of these? And flips is going to try, like, Flashbang's going to try to do a, like, a backflip. Sure thing. You, you probably can. You got that hops you got the rabbit right. hops um uh, uh now w what i want in my universe is that star wars was like passed down on like vhs for like <laughs> three thousand years and that's why there's jedis <laughs> yes. Yes. because of the movie star wars and not yeah. actually because they're real that bunch it, of weaves yeah. just copied it sort of yeah. thing yeah. Yeah. lightsabers <laughs> just get, got invented and they're like it's like that movie I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right. Your um, your acrobatics are are great for the for the camera, um, but you know, great food for the camera. But we should get these crystals and get paid. Uh, saving people is not on the objective list as much as not you know, at all. You, you know, I want to. If we can, great. I'm gonna I'm gonna try, but we gotta go. I mean, I more people useful. we save. Mm -hmm. More people we save, more food we end up using up. I'd rather just get the crystals and get out. Perhaps if they provide us any useful information, then they would have uh, earned sure, their way. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, information's great. They ain't I coming mean, on the ship with us. Look, I'm a, I'm a good guy, but I mean that doesn't mean I can't just like call nine one one sometimes. Yeah, and, like leave it up to them, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got I got to report it, but yeah, don't worry. One silent end don't... is yeah. But well, one silent end is what we got out of that guy. I mean, if anything, blue guy over here just gets more people to talk to. More more people on his show. I mean, I'm just saying. I'll just salute. Yep. <laughs> A little callous, but they knew what they were getting into when they started the, these experiments, I'm sure. So. Well, exactly. let's go try to find these crystals. Onward to the crystals. That's yes, what we're here for. Onward. Oh, labs are ahead. I will lead the way, little robot dude. Is this robot a hologram or is he physical? He is a hologram. He is uh, part of the ship. Like you'll see, he like disappears and reappears ship. in different parts. Okay. Um, and you'll see little projectors around the ship that um, that keep projecting him around corners. All right, I'll spin up some stage lights, and there's a well lit ramp, and we're right. going forward. Goggles are just back on, just shining bright green. I'm assuming it's been over ten minutes at this point. So. Yeah, prob probably. Probably. Yeah. Um, yes, very well. Uh, all right. Does anybody else need any patching up while I'm while we're on our way? 
I mean, no, I'm good. Scrap, can I volunteer I'm for more? Is there anything we can do to help uh, Flashbang? I'm, unfortunately, I've done all that I can do on you right now. If we... If, if we need to stop and rest, we, I can... I can... I mean, I got... I, I can talk to you. We can... We can... We can share a, a, a talk of rest. A conversation of rest. But... You got a little rest already? I mean, I'm, I'm still good. Yeah, we've been, we've been here. We've been for like 10 minutes. Good, Flash man. Could... I'm hanging in there. Flash okay, I'm tired, I'm not getting wanna... mauled by some weird space shadow alien dogs, but like... You know, it's just a normal day. I can yeah, just take just advantage sit... of yeah, time just, for rest. Just sit, by, <laughs> sit by me and two and you'll be fine. It is kind of Flash... a normal day for us, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There's yes, lashes up ahead, there's gonna be something in there, there's crystals, there's probably drugs in there that we could find. So let's let's go. Come on. Sounds like you oh, got a little, little robot. Focus on the mission. Focus on the mission at hand for flashbang. Just... Do you see these blueprints right here? Yes. He's like waving them around. Yes, I see them. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go to the labs. Lab. Yes, yes, I would definitely like to go to the labs. Straight ahead. Lab. Yes. Let's to the labs. To the labs. Make sure this isn't like a meth lab. Follow me to the labs. The labs, yes. All right. Labs. Little robot. Labs. Let's go. Uh, so the <laughs> robot will go scuttling ahead. Um, and yeah, you're traveling for a little while. Um, at one point, he leads you through a maintenance hatch. And um, you're going into the more more of like the innards of the ship with all these mechanics around. Um, like mechanical uh, little pipes and whatnot. Um, it's kind of cramped in here. Um at times it's five feet and at times it goes even thinner um and you have to squeeze through maybe like bend some pipes out of the way um if everyone wants to make a perception check sure Absolutely. perception might as well <laughs> 11. Solid two. Great job, guys. Let's we got go this. Flash bag. <laughs> you know, they don't really yeah. build these ships like they used to. You see all these pipes going around? These are like these are a terrible location for all of these, okay? Like it's just too much valuable stuff flowing through these for it to just be out in the open like uh -huh. this. Uh Ozzy's a little too focused on the task at hand. Yeah. I am truly <laughs> in awe at how you know your way around these ships, Flashbang. Well, you know, when you work on them as long as I do, you kind of learn a few tricks, and some of this stuff isn't exactly the best government-built stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Kino's yeah. playing rock, paper, scissors with himself. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Um, yeah, as you're uh, working your way through these pipes, um, flashbang, this is uh, where you feel at home, kind of. Um, and uh, you see a little break in the pipes towards more of the core of the ship. And inside it, you see a gray sphere, um, which um, you'd think would be where the power source of this um, ship would be. But you see this um, decently big gray sphere, I'd say um, maybe like 30 feet in diameter. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, this gray, it, it kind of looks like the, the sun um, the grayed out sun, which is kind of close to Vestra. Um, and it's odd that it's in the center here. Um, you barely see it through these pipes um, up ahead. Uh, it's not where you're going, so you can avoid it, but... Um, and it doesn't seem like violent or anything. It's just this odd sphere. It's like a little note of it in my head. Uh -huh. He'll like visibly like throw up his like little finger and like make a little check mark motion, but not say anything to you guys. All right, cool. Um, yeah, uh, I'll I'll say like as people are passing by, they can they can probably see it now that um, Flashbang looked in that direction, um, and oh, you yes. notice it as well. Look at that. Um, uh, um, Cool. Uh, if there's nothing to do there, you guys keep moving through and eventually come to a server room uh, to your left. Um, and uh, the little robot will say, uh, "I am stored here as long as the ship's data, uh, as long uh, as well as the ship's data, operating system, and security cameras." You all right there, robot buddy? It seems like you got a little uh, phasing in and out there. Is something I'm the losing matter? power. 
think he's having score. a robot stroke. He's losing power, he said. Oh, Gareth's hey. losing power, but also, <laughs> <laughs> but also in in story. Uh, Ozzy, this looks like your favorite room. Look at all these servers. Just immediately starts looking around. The <laughs> cool. Um, the big thing that you find um, is uh, footage um, from the security cameras. Um, and uh, as you scan through, it seems like the most like you can scan through uh, based on movement. And uh, the past day, um, there has been a lot of movement. Um, you see many of like the guards fighting off uh, similar beasts to what you saw before. Um, but uh, one key scene that you, uh, you check in on uh, about a day ago, uh, you see three survivors um, and they're holding up a storage room. Um, one of them's a sturdy looking gorilla kind of man. Uh, one of them's a thin insectoid kind of woman and uh, a human with blue skin. Um, and, uh, and let's see, they are using a variety of different weapons as they shoot out at something off screen. Um, and, uh, they seem to be overrun by these flickering beasts. One of them is a, a bundle of arms, which seems to grip um, one of the one of the people, um, the the gorilla kind of man, as it, his body contorts as he seems to be uh, strangled by this thing. Um, and the other two go running off, and you look at different monitors as you follow. Uh, their path. Um, uh, roll a perception check, everyone, as you're watching this footage. Perception. Come Let's on. See it. No. Dang, these perceptions. 16. Right? <laughs> 17. 14. We won, baby. Nice. Uh, Flashbang, you're the first to notice this, but At Atmos and uh, Kino, you soon follow. Uh, that one of the stray bullets of these survivors hits a um, a part of the hallway and shoots off this jet of flame, um, and the the beasts seem to burn up quite quickly as they um, try to move past this thing. Um, and uh, the last thing you see uh, is that these survivors, the two that are left, seem to be. Um, stuck in a corner of the hallway a uh, dead end um, and they uh, turn around and look ho horrified as all that approaches them is a young lanky woman with uh, shadowy long hair um, the woman seems to open her mouth which is barely visible on these uh, low resolution uh, security cameras um, and this reverberation shakes the entire ship. All the monitors shake. Um, and there is this uh, resonating blast. Um, and the two survivors are instantly aerosolized into mist of oh, blood. Um, and uh, she cranes her neck for a second and looks towards the camera. And a second passes and vanishes in front of your oh. eyes. Well, that is pretty. Uh, I'll use the word spooky. Forgive me. Um, <laughs> they they really need to upgrade their camera work here on on on, on, on Space Ghost. We got a lot better uh, cameras. Like they don't, they don't they shake like that. It's all government built, man. See, it's just mass produced like this. It's just not good quality stuff. Okay, it's just slapped together and it flies. That's that's their concern. I would like to, well, while staring at the at the camera or at the screens, I would like to point my thumb over my shoulder and cast Hollow Whisper, and ask, "Hey, is there anybody behind us sneaking up on us?" Uh, you don't sense anything. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll breathe a sigh of relief, and then turn around and then sit on the control console. Uh huh. What do you guys think? Uh, I think we gotta get some crystals and get out of here. Yeah, that's probably for the best. The sooner the better. Perhaps these things will just die on their own if they run out of things to feed on. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I feel I feel like we got to get those. I mean, it was, obvious, it was obvious before, but I feel like we're on some kind of time limit, guys. This, these things are going to start hunting us now that, know, now that they know that we're here. We got to get the crystals and get out. Yes. Hey, Flashback, right. you, you got explosives? Uh, explosives? No. I could probably make mm. some, but mm. I, I need um, materials. Oh. Oh, we'll find materials. Oh, I'm hey. just thinking, you know, blow this place up after we're done. Oh, that'll be easy. You mentioned that they took some, uh, they seem to disappear very quickly when exposed to fire. Yeah, yeah they don't like fire. Too. That's true. And Flashbang will take out his little welding torch and, like, give it a little, like, spritz. Uh, hey. hey. I'll have to keep that in mind. I'll have to talk to Iggy, maybe. Let's see. But... We, we might have to rely on you, Flashbang. I have no fire. I got, I, 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 I'm no talk show host Ruby Rod. I'm, I've only got air. No power techniques? I thought your show was better. I mean, my show mm. is better, but it's a different kind of show. We we talk to we we talk to people that aren't alive. Ruby talks to people that are alive. All right. Well, we need to go find yeah. where these crystals are. So, little robot dude, where you at? Yeah, robot homie, make with crystals. Yeah, he will. Uh, he will appear. The research labs are just ahead. I would say it would take one minute to arrive. All right. That's very Perfect. Astray. Flashbang, Sounds would you like idea. to scout ahead first? Oh, of course. Is, is that a good it. idea? First one ah, there, go ahead. Do quick. Why don't, we just, right. why don't we just stay together, right? We know there's something running around through the vents. What if he just gets plucked? Seems quite That's what I'm thinking. be able to run right there and back. Quick, no, like, they can't grab me in the vents. Just like you, I mean, just like you got mauled. That's different. Earlier. Those are space dogs. Don't you bring that up. All right. If anything does happen, then I will ha I will know right away since I'm directly connected to him. All right, Flashbang. Yeah. You are right. You are the fastest. No one can outrun you. You are super speedy. Uh, you're like a blur when you're when you're out there. Uh, why don't you? Exactly. If if you think you can do it, let's 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 go. Show us how it's done, and I'll guide oh. him. Perfect. Guide nice. him. Yeah. Go over to where the, the hallway is for the lab. Fix my goggles oh, yeah. on my face. Take my hand and I'll slick my ears back. <laughs> uh huh. Just like, just do, take off down the hallway. Yeah, you go shooting down the hall. Um, you don't notice uh, too much um, as you're shooting down the hall. And um, up ahead, uh, you'll see that the, the hologram um, of the little robot is. Uh, trying to keep up and like shoots uh, like in front of you um, or like appears from different projectors but even the projectors are having a hard time keeping up um, go fast in that little and, robot. and little robot will uh, be able to like point the way um, little like arrows will um, point the way um, and you eventually reach a uh, elevator which seems to lead down um, and uh, you'll see a uh sign labeled uh labs perfect i'll turn into where the labs are at just like skid like just barely around the corner and like peek my head around it cool yeah it's an elevator that leads down so um yeah other uh the rest of the group you're following behind and also led mm -hmm. by these things i'm doing a bunch of flips <laughs> running on walls and stuff <laughs> sure do we know how heavy these cryo crystals are? They're they're pretty small, actually. Uh, you could maybe uh, carry one in, like, uh, let's say, uh, twelve or so. Um, yeah, it's just a few pounds. Part of it is that uh, they have these like anti gravity um, portions Fields. to them. They uh, they don't they don't really like weigh that much. Are we clear on the Despite value of them? Yeah. Uh, he said five thousand um, per crystal. Um. Yeah. I mean, you could talk to him afterwards and be like, "We want more," or whatever, or think about how much they might go for otherwise. I guess it doesn't matter. Would Flashbang know how much these go for? 
Uh, people can make history checks. Sure. I mean, if you're just, just yeah. to see if he's trying to lowball us. If you're just giving history checks away. Hmm. Look at Ozzy, dude. Oh, ammo. Hmm. 15. Oh, you guys be knowledgeable. Um, really not. So, Atmos and Ozzy, um, both of you have uh, done a little bit of research into these um, crystals before. And um, you know that uh, that this seems to be quite a bit for each of these crystals. Um, a big thing having to do with, the, with these crystals is like if they're going in long, um, if they're being shipped far away, they need to be contained um, in a certain way and that costs quite a bit. So this farmer is probably paying more money to just get it directly uh, something close by. Uh, rather than paying all these costs to ship it across the the universe. Ooh. Yeah, we use one on the show. It, it creates us a, a nice little platform. For we're on we, a map. Uh, from when we oh, need we're to, on a map. <laughs> for when we need to move cameras around. Elevator. Hell yeah. Okay. So, um, eventually, yeah, you guys all get into the elevator and are led down to um, the main labs here. Um, and you'll see up ahead, um, I don't think you can, you might not be able to see it quite. Uh, nope, but, I'll fling uh, some dancing lights, or some uh, dancing stage lights down there, just to make sure that we see it. Cool, you nice. might be able to. Uh, up ahead, um, yeah, there are these uh, crystals that are held in a bigger um, pillar. That elevator. <laughs> hmm. So, who would What's like to go first? I'm not All scared. right, let's uh, go. Yeah. Yeah. Fear yeah. leads to anger. All right, I'll hang yeah. out. Uh, I'll hang out at the entrance. Yeah. I mean, why is it taking me so long to move? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having some lag here myself. Oh no. But. You're staying behind Atmos. I'll, I'm just keeping watch, right? I'm, I'll just make sure that nothing comes out of the vents and you know yoinks you into the vents, and then you get eaten up. I ain't scared, and uh, you know I've, I've, I've seen freakier spirits. I'm just making sure that you guys are okay. It is strategic to say for us squishy types, as they would say, to stay further behind. Just remember. I'll stay next to the rabbit. Force will always be with you. Oh, I appreciate <laughs> your vote of confidence, too. The crystals are currently in use. In order to re release them, we will have to overload the system. This should be easy. I can do that right now. All right. They're not a we'll safe do that thing. Way to do well, it. knock That's it out, little dangerous. robot. Come on. We got we to gotta get out of here. Are these what doors? Are these experiment? Or what are these? Right here? The... Uh, yeah, up ahead. Um, yeah, you'll see these are actually the pipes in the ceiling. Okay. Um, yeah, that this is just like pipes up above. Gotcha. Um, it's like a slightly elevated um, portion as well with the stairs up here. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say it's like five feet up. It's um, nothing much. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and the, the robot will continue uh, after a little pause. Or uh, it'll address um, something someone said um, about it being like, is there a safer way to do it? I think uh, to the second mm -hmm. said that. Um, to the and second they'll say, say that. The previous experiments involved creating a barrier and pushing a lot of power into these crystals. In order to undo it, we will have to put at least the same amount of energy in taking it out. Bad feeling about this. Sorry, guys. Um, gotta get these crystals out of here somehow. So. Flashbang, maybe you should stand back. I'm diverting power now. Okay! And then Flashbang behind like, a pillar. Like, like run back and like scurry around this corner. I don't want to be standing right in front of it. Oh. Dino's standing right there. He's not gonna move. 
Ammo. Oh. <laughs> oh no. That's pretty good. What is happening? Well, that's pretty cool. Ammo's is just like leaning against the door frame with his arms crossed, make, just watching the ceilings. Okay, it wasn't super easy. It's going to take a little bit. Oh, of course. Is there a control panel in here somewhere? Yes, Man, there are multiple. Also... Where? I will direct Where are these at? I like this Did... little robot guy. Can we keep him? Did multiple just appear, or what? Oh, oh or they'll just where the panels are. Uh, they are where the panels are, and also multiple appear. They're being projected, so they can appear at multiple oh. places. Ah, perfect. Okay. All right. Dust my hands off, and I'll lean down, and I'll pull this cabinet door open, and I'll start looking inside. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, roll a arcana. Nice. Yeah, you can tell that a lot of the way this thing's hooked up is to, um, like, as you pull off the panel, um, you see that there are some, like, basic, uh, there's some basic things you can, um, change about the room. Uh, the doors, you can try to lock them. Uh, the lights you can turn off. Um, there's some basic, uh, like, UI, uh, functions. Um, but the other thing you see is that there are just a bunch of, uh, cables which are leading to the main um the main crystals here it seems like they have just put so much behind um like diverting the energy into this room hmm. okay ignore the one flashing light ah never worried about it i can fix that right now and it'll pick up the the like light cable and it'll like twist it and like try to like disconnect it <laughs> the light cable to turn it off. Mean? Yeah, for the red flashing light. Where's the red flashing light, anyways? Oh, guess we don't have to worry about it now. Here's to have stopped. Well, <laughs> oh, flashbang no. pulled the cord <laughs> of that the light. Oh. Um, the robot. You did say ignore it. Well, we are d diverting all energy. That includes life support systems and oxygen and. The power to doorways. Wait, oxygen, uh, we need that one. Oxygen's a good one. Hold on a second. No, no, we got life support belts. We're fine. We're wearing the things, yes. So. Well, there will be time to evacuate, I'm sure. There is no I'm reason sure. to assume otherwise. If the doors exactly. are going to potentially close, then I might need to move in. Oh, perfect. I Don't worry, I can exactly fix that. And I'm going to grab the door cable and, like, disconnect the door cable. Can you, so you see ripping wires? Since we have to go out this way, can you weld it open? Uh, I don't think that's how welding works. Is it? Well, remember these doors are... They have a bunch of strength in them to close, so it would I would have to weld these very well to make sure. Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't know how doors work. I know how microphones work. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> step in and find another wall to lean against still eyeballing the ceiling so if i take the door cable and i rip the door cable off do, does the do the doors like automatically close or do they like open up uh yeah they will they will close there's uh different ones for each um each portion of the the room okay. so huh. there's this Um, I guess uh, Ozzy will take a look at one of these panels here. Uh, is there anything that needs to be opened up? or? Uh, no, you just see uh, similar things where um, it seems to be the same like basic uh, mechanics that uh, that Flashbang was looking into. Okay. Are we ready to get started? Let's so get that uh, started. Yeah, let's uh, come on little robot, overload that baby. Let's the overload the is in process. I don't need uh, to cause a panic, but multiple life forms are approaching your area. Oh. From what direction are they coming? From where? Everywhere. Uh, doors, doors, we need to close doors. Are they attendants? Hey. I don't like the way that he said that, so I, I'm going to assume no. I don't believe they're attendants. Is that life forms? 
flashbangs and I'm gonna slap some of these wires back together and like try to close some of these doors. Uh, okay. Could I be rolling an arcana check on this panel here to activate what needs to be done? Or sure, um, yeah, roll a arcana there right. and um, flashbang. Right. Do you want to just close the doors to the north here? Those are the main ones that. Uh, um. Well, I don't know exactly where they're coming from, and so yeah. basically, I'm just trying to close the doors that are nice. that we haven't been through yet. Twenty four. Cool. Uh. Yeah. With that, you <laughs> can um, you can uh, manage to uh, close the door there to the south as it um, vacuum seals up, uh, and um around this corner see if something comes through this door and then slice them up cool uh yeah is there anything else people want to do there's a few minutes of just uh well Uh, would be darkness but i'm gonna gonna run to the doors that have closed and he's gonna start trying to like weld them like close okay to the north yeah we do have to get out you know so. I'm gonna look for anything that looks like it can start a fire. I'm going to uh, sure. Um, Kino, if you want to roll a, um, I'll say this can either be Arcana or History. Sure. Both the same to me. Not hey, twenty, baby. Not twenty. Yeah. Dude, I love Kino. <laughs> yeah, you've done, <laughs> yeah, he uh, rolls well. Well, good roll oh, so far. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really well. Um, yeah, you've been on, uh, spaceships enough to, uh, know where, like, a, basically, like, propane, um, like, storage, uh, little, uh, thing is, and you, you find, um, one in the corner, uh, that if you apply enough pressure to this thing, it'll probably explode in some way. All right. I, I think I'm just gonna hold it, and I'm gonna chuck it at whatever, whatever demon monster comes at us next. Okie doke. Uh, what were you going to do, Atmos? Uh, Atmos something? is going to turn on a bunch of torchlights and kick them around the room, uh, just in case he loses concentration on the stage lights. And, okay. Um, he's going to, since Robot Homie said that there are multiple life orbs coming in, he's going to start pointing in random directions, uh, communing with the... The, the spirits of the dead of the of this derelict beseeching their aid and trying to establish uh, contact and communication with uh, whatever life forms are approaching and he's just going to uh, communicate uh, turn back no go away uh, nothing here go away okay uh, hmm. roll with, a with hollow whisper of course yeah, roll an intimidation check at a disadvantage. Okay. Or deception. I'll be... Probably intimidation, because I'm being kind of, like, aggressive with it. Big aggressive. <laughs> oh, oh, <boy>. Unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> you got such a big bonus, too. Uh, well... Let me... Let me screw with it. <laughs> right, I rolled a one, a natural... but it's a, I, I rolled a natural one, but it's a ten. The natural one, he could still get to a ten. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy with okay. it. Uh, you start hearing um, a thudding sound behind the doors. Which doors? Yeah, which doors? Uh, the north and the south. Mm. I'm going to hold my head. So oh, they're not listening to me, here. you guys. Okay. But... All right. Ozzy He's is guys. tuning his gate key, getting ready to phone a friend. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Got both doors covered. Okay. Um, the north doors are first. Um, actually, the south doors would be first to break, seeing as the welding. Um, oh, yeah. It's happening. Uh, Can I ready okay. and actually to just punch whatever comes by the doors? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, you would have to go. You'd expect the south doors here to be the first to. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, I, think so, I think these are vents over here. Yeah, yeah, those. But... Yeah, they're just um, they're like raised platforms. Yeah, then I'm over here though. Okay, cool. Um, okay, combat. 
c c c c combat. Uh, 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 nah, nah, nah. The doors <laughs> open. The doors Ew. are opening. Oh. Last oh, one, guys. You him, oh, that thing's big. That thing's I big, guys. One. What thing is big? What? I don't see oh, anything. Oh, that thing is big. I don't see anything. Uh, you don't want to see it. I can't oh, see no. it. I'm, I'm holding my head. There's too many whispers. <laughs> yeah. You got some more wolves. Do I have everyone? What is that? It's just a bunch oh. of hands. We'll find out oh, when it starts tearing us Mr. Grabby Man. Mr. This Grabby can only man. go well. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I gotta Sweet. Roll initiative. initiative, baby. Wow, that was shit. <laughs> I will now initiate. Yo, let's go. Nice and average. Hey, hey, let's go. At twenty. I'm loving this one. <coughs> Okie doke. Uh. Ooh. Atmos. Okay. Uh. So we kind of like skipped to combat. Can you can you set the scene for me, please? I'm sorry. Uh. One sec. Yeah. So, well, the main thing is that the uh, red light was flashing. Um, at some point, it turns off. Uh, you kicked a bunch of flares um, on the ground, torches, basically. Um, and a few minutes passed as um, you heard this knocking um, on the, the south door and then knocking on the north door as well. Um, and just like this just clashing sound of like a million uh, things hitting uh, the metal. Um, and eventually, uh, the, the metal seems to bend as you see a set of at least 20 arms pulling, um, the doors open from either side. Um, and yeah, that's what you see at the south, the south sounds, side of things. It's pretty freaky. Mm. Yeah. No, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> mm, okay. I mean, you won't get the chance. Oh, I'm gonna kill this thing. <laughs> Uh, seeing all of these crazy arms, I'm going to, uh, do the thing that we usually do, and I will cast Silent Show, and I will hide Kino behind just some random ship, uh, uh, uh random, sorry, illusionary random ship equipment that completely okay. covers them and obscures them from view. Uh, Kino, however, definitely knows that this is an illusion because we do it all the time so we can see through it. Got it. So the the intent oh, is to is to hide him and maybe allow him to attack the opponent a little easier when he deems it is ready. Okie doke. Um, hmm. Okay. Right oh, nice. And then. Cool. Uh, I will. <clears throat> I will duck. Uh, I'll duck behind a pillar, out of view, hopefully. Okie doke. And then that's my turn. Uh, Kino. All right. I'm. A, I'm actually gonna take a step back. Is this a wall right here? Uh, it's just a five foot, um, like raising up. Oh, okay, cool. I'm. I'm. A, I'm a step over here. I'm gonna toss the propane tank to my echo, and my echo is gonna nice. run in. And he's gonna apply the pressure. He's gonna try and crush it and suicide bomber all these guys. Holy okay. shit! Oh. Nice. I don't know how you want to do that with damage, but yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay. Uh, so that will be um, roll four d six fire damage. Uh, big boob. Big explosion. So how do you do that? I think so. Twelve fire damage. Nice. Okay, we're saying okay. this is kind of like a small um, fireball. Um, okay, twelve damage. Um, you will see one of them goes up in flames. Um, but, uh, yeah, the arm, the arm creature goes up in flames as it like, uh, the, all the like fingers, um, tense, um, with the pain. Um, uh, one of the hounds that you fought before completely, um, uh, gets burned apart and the other 
Um, the other also gets burned apart by this uh, giant explosion. Let's go, Kino. All right. Uh, all right. Also, uh, your um, I guess your double would yeah. uh, only take he, the 12. He, I mean, he only or has one hit point. He'd, he'd go away. Okay. Yeah, he, he vanishes um, for now. Just all right. Keep... Now I'm going to use my bonus action to summon him back up. Manifest Echo. I'm going to manifest him right here again. Cool. Yeah, he reappears, readies his weapon. Let's go, Keanu. And I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna action surge. And Shadow Kino is not only just gonna do two more attacks. I'm gonna unleash incarnation. I'm gonna punch this guy three times. Holy oh, shit! Right away. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's big, go, Kino. I, <laughs> I, I said you guys are not gonna see this guy. <laughs> Damn. He's protecting us. He's protecting our well, eyes. Well. Ooh. Uh, I did kind of want to see him, actually. But... Yeah. Uh, All okay, right. Two of those hit. I could always see him later. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see his dead body. See... Ah. And dead alien body. That's thirteen more damage. No, sorry, eleven damage. Okay. Nice. Um. Yeah. This thing is quite hurt already. Um, now it is its turn, um, and it will attempt, uh, it will first attempt to claw, um, the Kino clone. All right. Yeah, it hits. It's out. Okay. Vanishes. Oh, I should keep your, just in case you summon him again. Um, okay, right. how fast can this thing move? Not very fast. <laughs> it enters the area. Yeah, you see this nasty thing. Oh, God. Oh, what the uh, hell? Foul beast. Then attempts, the first thing it sees is uh, Zedras and um, uses the hand whip. Wow. Oh, it's got reach. It's got reach, bro. That's a far reach. Okay. Dang. This thing ain't fucking around. He's got grabbies. You're gonna get grabbed by the ghoulies. No, you won't. Ooh. Grab by the big bags. Unlimited hands. Oh, deflect it off the shield. Yeah, yeah. It like deflects off and then like wraps around this pillar. You see this like long chain of hands, um, which uh, wraps up there. Oh, I and it's your turn. Okay. Um, knowing that they have, they seem to have some sort of weakness to fire. He is going to tune his, uh, uh, tune his gate key and speak into it and say, um, Iggy, I'm calling you in. And he is going to cast summon Iggy, which is, uh, <laughs> What's three cool, flavoring Iggy? of, uh, flaming sphere. So oh, he looks so cool. Oh, yeah, nice. Let's Ooh. go Iggy. So yeah, I did actually have a a token for him, but it's uh this is fine. So that's so much cooler. Yeah. So um, actually I do. So I summon him on my turn, and then I can use a bonus action in order to ram him into a creature. Mm -hmm. So I will use my bonus action to ram him into this guy, and then that's a DC 14 Dex save. Ooh, it does not make it. Let's go. Okay, please. so then it takes uh, so then it takes two d six fire damage. Woo! All right, nine fire damage on this thing. Nice. As the um, this cute little uh, bomb guy pops out of a portal and just rolls right into him. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see. Um, like as it like slams, um, uh, as Izzy uh, or Iggy. Uh, slams into uh, this hand creature. Many of the hands try to like grab it and uh, push it away as um, as uh, many of the hands get burnt up uh, and that is in fact enough to uh, uh -huh. take out this. Let's go, Iggy! Ooh. Iggy rolls through the hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just continues barreling through as the hands yeah. try to stop him. Spins um, back around and I'm gonna just use my movement to get try to get behind this pillar over here okay. now that i feel like this area is secure i'll just hide over here and in my turn uh -huh. nice okay to the second 
am unaware of any <laughs> enemies. So yeah, it seems to be it. Is the fight over? <laughs> is is uh, the fight you over, banging, guys? You hear banging against the door that's next to you. Oh. It's... okay. Sorry. I... I'll open the door, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lightsaber. Can I cut it? Oh, yeah. I'm holding sure. this thing close. As he's well to get close, to well, okay. just <laughs> open it up. I, I, I'll, I'll do the opposite, and I will. I'll help him get ready. Well, the clothes with my lightsaber. How about that? Okay. How nice. does that work? Spread it like butter. It's, yeah, kind of like, kind of like, like well, like literally, like it's like it's like the uh, the the flux for the welding. You know, it's like the wire. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, okay. Plasma welds. Roll um roll a attack roll and let's see uh how how precise you can be with this thing. He's a Jedi. Very Just precise. Attack with my lightsaber. Yeah. He's always precise, dude. Not he hits him. every oh, single time. Slap him. He's never missed oh, one. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. You you trip on something and like cut the door. <laughs> <laughs> Great, is there anything on the other side of it? Uh yeah. Alright, um, can I so that will be one attack. Yes. The door Please. the door seemed like it was going to be opened uh pretty soon anyway. Um as the door opens. That's hilarious. Let me Sorry, show these guys. Ah come on man, I was welding that I, I didn't have anything to do, I was just trying to help. I, I you opened up the door to the aliens, man? <laughs> yeah. I slice things. It's what I do. I, you know, there's nothing for me to do. I need here. to get you a hobby or something. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I spent my whole life training. That's all I know. You, <laughs> you know what? It's fine. <laughs> okay. Up Socially ahead, you unaware. see things. Okay. Um, as uh, you see, basically one of those hounds, except like. Ten of them or so merged all together as there oh. are all these hounds with gnashing what? teeth. Oh god. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> oh shit. They're spooky. Dude, they're gonna rip. Oh, they're gonna rip Torch to shreds. Oh my goodness. Uh, too spooky for me. Yeah. <laughs> I am looking up. Can what? you guys see down Flash the hall bang, as sorry. well? Mm, I, 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 I don't see anything. I'm, I'm, I'm too far away. You don't want to Okay. This is a nightmare. I am oh, so you're gonna get ripped apart. Choose one creature uh, within 30 feet. Okay. As close as I can get. All right, I can I can angel somebody. Yeah, you're gonna have to. <coughs> Whoa. Although fog worries uh, Yeah. Right. Oh, oops. Oh no. That's no, fine. This Good. is cool. Okay. I, I think that's it. basically the vision you had anyway, right? Yeah. I mean that's oh, fine. Where? Yeah. I can see a lot more now. Oh. Huh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, a fifteen, a fifteen hits as you uh, cut the door open and then slash into this thing. Back foul beast. Nice. Uh, so it's eleven with my dueling, and then. Uh, dueling. Du -du 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 -du. And I, I would like to use my uh, telekinesis, telekinetic feet, to try to shove the creature. <clears throat> It has to succeed on a strength save, which would be a, uh, a 13. Okay, there you go. Um, uh, a what? A what? A 13 strength save. Strength save. Here, I'll, sorry. Using the telekinetic feet. <clears throat> this yeah. thing is horrifying. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Give it a shit. Strong yeah, you should some some of the heads and uh, others just take its place. Right, uh, and oh. then I'd like to uh, telekinetic strike, aka the force. What is with these rolls? <laughs> <laughs> Foul beast! Uh huh. <laughs> <If I> poke <laughs> it with the force. Uh huh. Every yeah, bit counts, man. Every bit counts. Nash's teeth. Yeah. Flashbang. Uh, Flashbang, looking up at this thing, uh, is going to immediately spend a key point and use Fury of Blows. Okie doke. That means I get two, X, well, two attacks real quick. 
Oh, here it is. So you're trying to attack four times, but... I think you have to attack first. You have to attack yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll like, attack and then Fury of Blows. You, like, you can choose the flurry after the two attacks, just to see, like, you know, you see what situation you're in. But... Okay. Whether, whether you should, you know, bounce or not. Uh, <laughs> he said bounce, he's a rabbit. I did it. <laughs> I you actually can do that, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll take my unarmed strike, and I'll see how this thing goes as I, as I slap it. Ooh, that hits. Nice. Perfect, and then uh, I'll take the Fury of Blows, use that, so I can make two more attacks. Jacket. Okay, that hits. And then last Fury and... blows naturally. Oh, let's oh, go. Lots of you hits. still have all one hits. more attack after all this, by the way. You do... Yeah, and then I'll take twice. An another good old attack. Yeah. Four attacks. Uh, that meets the armor class, so that beats it. That hits. Yeah, yeah four, four, hit four hits. Four times. Hit. My God. Cool. Dunk, dunk, Get dunk, it. Dunk. Uh, well, I'm gonna roll all the normal damage real quick. He's so fast. He's in the mile. That's in the solid eight. Seen such oh, a rock eight, power. eight, eight, nine. Oh, another nine. Eight. Eight. Dang, Man, boy. Do I have it another crits. regular attack? You hit four times, times, buddy. No, no. Yeah. Now, now's your crit. Now my crit, okay. Critical hit. Yeah. Noise. Let's nine, go. Eight, that is a good round. 36. Uh, so um, 36 damage. Yeah, you did it right. 36 is, damage. And then since round. I have my drunken technique. Oh no, oh no! The disengage yeah. action. Wait no, I get the benefit of it. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So uh <laughs> You can dip. Yeah. yeah can. So basically, uh you're just gonna see all these attacks fly out of flashbang real quick, and then he is immediately gonna fucking fly across the room. That last that last kick is just like a giant leap. Off this yeah, guy's face. Run over uh -huh. here to run over here to Ozzy. He's like that thing's fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> you just like turn around and I'm just there. Uh, I think used well, to this. <laughs> you didn't disengage, right? So uh, you did. Will... Oh, it, I get a disengage action. Step of the wind. It's oh, a action. It's a drunken. Uh, drunken oh technique. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. I get the benefit um, of it. And my walking okay. speed is increased by 10 until the end of my turn. So I used all 60, 60 to get over here to Ozzy. You <laughs> It's crazy. You got 60 normal speed. Yep. Uh, oh, it's moving, dude. Okay, time to add these boys into initiative. Um, these boys. Here we go. <laughs> Confidently step in front of the dog spinning my lightsaber. Bring it. Do you look so sick? <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. God, so okay, okay, okay. There's okay. too many. <laughs> <laughs> now you're fine. Um, Smile for are the they camera, all too. Over there? <laughs> and uh, you will hear um, the little robot I say, um, I think that uh, the crystals will be released within six seconds. All right. Does oh, that entail anything convenient. that we should know about? Probably protect uh, crystals. Means when I'm survive, there. survive the round, and uh, you might be able to uh, get out of here. Maybe not that, like, start leaving. Blows up in six seconds. No. Okay. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, okay, Atmos, <laughs> you are first to go. Okay, I am going to dash to another pillar. No, not dash. I'm going to run to another pillar. <laughs> boop 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 boop. Uh, let's see. Boop boop. And uh, see lots of dog mouths, and to yeah. boldly standing in front of it, and I'm going to uh, fire off my uh, very fancy, very old rifle at it. Nice. Don't see here. Uh, well, is is it keyed correctly? Do I need to do anything funky to it? Because I didn't. Uh, have it is right. Okay. So I just hit the button instead of click, instead yeah. of click the 20 plus 6. I'm, yeah. I'm attacking! 6. <laughs> oh, Damn. unfortunately. Oh, this thing yeah, the, sucks. The thing probably jams immediately. Ah, terrible government issue. I'm using my own stuff and I'll throw it on the ground. 
and I told you to never forget it. <laughs> and I will uh, uh, pump up to the second and uh, encourage him that he is actually the greatest. And I'm gonna give you a bardic inspiration. He is the one. The yeah, chosen. They all be the strongest Jedi there ever was. He's gonna get mauled. <laughs> <laughs> They're <get> fucking eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can use this as a review uh, for any ability check, attack roll, saving throw, or damage roll. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. And it is a d8. That's my turn. Nice. Okay, one of these spiders at the back will go crawling on the ceiling. They're coming on the walls, man! They're coming on the walls! And, uh, <laughs> It will, let's see how far. Oh, shit. <laughs> we seem to be in a predicament. Does it seem like they're all coming from that direction? <laughs> the... Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, yes, at the moment, it seems like they're very much all at in the moment. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know hey. that wording. I know that. <laughs> Nah, clearly I took care of all the guys in the south. Easily. Easily. I think he's there now. <laughs> if, it, if it says the range is 30 to 60 feet, does, like, 30 slash 60, that means, like, either way, like, it can think, be 30 to 60. So, 30 feet... Up to 30 is normal, 60, uh, 30 to 60 is disadvantage. Yep. And then after 60 is impossible. It's weird because it's not an attack, it's a saving throw, so... That might be. That the, makes no so sense. Yeah, that just makes no the sense. range of the uh, the no. range of the. Uh, oh. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Uh, so that's big spooks right there. Just say it's. That means action. if it's. Just say it's sixty range. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, that means if it's if it's within thirty feet, it can't do it. It's got to be thirty to sixty feet away. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm making stuff up. <laughs> I don't believe it. It sounds, I mean, good. It sounds uh, logical. Nah, it, that, that's not. Joaquin a has spoken. <laughs> it is known as the previous okay. master of shooty go blam i yeah that's true or like oh no bubble the, gum oh, the bubblegum pop that's right bubblegum pop that was the oh, that was it yeah oh, that's good. <laughs> oh okay uh i didn't realize but these are actually it's actually just like one person gets webbed um oh interesting uh, who's anyway, shooting yeah. at i'm behind a pillar <laughs> I'm hiding behind Ozzy. Uh, it is going to try to hit Admos. Dang it! <laughs> That's what I get. I don't even know who's attacking. Yeah, I can't uh, see One it. of the spiders at the back. I don't see it. I'm right in front of it and I don't see it. Freaking nice. I don't know why. Oh, probably because yeah, it's dark over there. It's acting weird. Yeah, I think it's, it's dark over there. It's, it's, dark. it's dark over there and, and none of us have dark vision. Are you Except sure? for Flashbang with his goggles. Exactly. Okay, deck save, Atmos. Okay. Uh, deck save? Or deck. strength, nope. sorry. strength save. You got this. You're open your strong. Uh, 11. You, you made it. Exactly what you needed. Get this goop off of me. Oh, it's all shadowy and stuff. This is not a good um, look. Kino. Powder room. All right. I need, <laughs> I need makeup. <laughs> all right, taking my 30 feet. My movement, I'm going to summon my my echo right here. Do you believe? Alright, I'm going to move my, my echo up. One, I'm going to take my two attacks. Normal. Got this. Kino said nice. so this. accurate. <laughs> It's really uh, easy when you punch both hit. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Kino's yeah. a fucking badass. Get it. <laughs> love love Kino. Damage. This is why we have him on the team. He's definitely a bounty hunter. 13. That is enough to uh, punch this thing out. Um, it already is quite hurt. Um, uh, yeah. I think, I think it's one slam look down. Look at the majority of damage. Was two the second the majority of... Oh, yeah, it was yeah, like 30, 30, like 36. Uh-huh. I did nice. like 7 or something. You all just played whack-a-mole with the heads. That was great. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, dude. 
punched it like four times and I fucking skidded out of there. Flashback's right. cruising. My turn. Cool. Um, two hounds are going to move forward. Come at me, brah. I won't fail you. Uh, one do will it to attack the second. to the second. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Is 14 enough as it no. tries to clamp down? Yeah, it oh. just bites on the lightsaber and like tears off its muzzle. Um, and 23. That's probably. Can not. Uh, Is that uh, hitting? Tino. Yeah, Shadow's so, uh, Echo is gone. Yeah. Oof. As uh, we see a timeline where Kino gets mauled by a wolf. Ah! Uh, yeah. Ah! Uh, Zedrus. Hmm. Oh, um, what's that do I, again? No, I thought he actually got hit. It's just his. I, sorry, I forgot it was. No, no, no. Can you, can you still Don't worry about him? it. Uh, no, no, because he would still take oh, any damage. Yeah, any damage. Yeah, yeah. he's got one hit point, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Thanks, so. Zedrus. Uh, you look down to the south, and it seems like uh, it, it seems pretty quiet. Um, so okay. the north I... seems where most things are happening. Okay. Um, let's see. I am going to use my bonus action to move Iggy thirty feet. Um, not sure if I've got control over this thing. Um, uh, I can probably move it. 30 feet? Okay. Where do you want to move it to? So, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, like, here? Okay. So, cool. There you go. I think I got it there. So, it's there, and I will just yell out to the group. Um, yeah, just, uh, Icky is here, stay away from him, try to lead them, uh, try to lead these things into him. And got it. I've got, let's see, what are the ranges on some of these hand trips and stuff okay I will use my action then to focus uh, hmm, okay I'll, I'll probably move around a little bit so 5 10 15 I got a do I have a clear view of one of these shadow yeah. creatures okay. yeah but either of them they're both okay. full health at the moment Okay, I am going to use my action to Mind Sliver. Nice. Let's see, did that pop up? There it is. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's a DC 14 Intelligence save. Okay, so 2D6. Mm -hmm. Seven damage, and they take a D4 uh, a minus on their next saving throw. Nice. Until the end of my next turn. Yeah, the one I, in front of two, the second, uh, winces back by something. Okay, 20, 25, 30, I'll end my turn. Okay, to the second. Mr. Two. Uh, you're, you're muted if you're saying things. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. All right, uh, I'll look back at everybody. Say, I won't fail you. And then I'll, <laughs> and then I'm gonna slice with my lightsaber at the badly injured one. Yo, yeah, let's there's go no to the second. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin through it, whether I hit it or not, and immediately follow up with a second attack on the other one. You got this. Let's go. Oh, hey, hey, there you go. All right. All right. So damage on the first. Uh, that is enough to uh, kill that one as you spin and slash through it, um, nice. and it dissipates behind you. Damage on the second with the 360, so that's 9 plus 2. I'll use my uh, psionic uh, psionic bash. Telekinetic strike, sorry. Uh, <laughs> bash him. <laughs> so that'll be a total of uh, 16 damage on the other one. Nice. Um, and that is enough to take out the other. I land mm -hmm. I land in like the classic Jedi like three point stance with my lightsaber uh -huh. behind me. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, as uh, a spider comes crawling out on the ceiling and tries to web you. Let's see if oh, you <laughs> Oh god, where'd uh, he go? I don't see him. Save. 
I don't see Is any. there a wall here? Does does it I'm think there's a wall? Quite weak. I mean, I'm over uh, here, so I can't see a thing. Can I, you, I, you I, see I, anything? I thing? can. I see nothing. Literally, yeah. I'm surrounded by oh. black on all sides except for the yellow stripes behind me. Oh no! <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, it's just nothing. dark. Yeah. Like, that's not a good sign. It's not, I it's can see. Dark. I can see like the hallway and like stairs up to here, but I don't see any creature. Uh huh. Trained for this at the academy. We used to fight blindfolded. Dang! What if you really <laughs> had blind sight? Or like the, the blind dope. fighting style? Oh no. Uh, I'll, no, I'm gonna use my uh, inspiration. Oh good yeah! Call. Good call. You're good. Uh, slice through the webs with my lightsabers. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this uh, this like uh, projectile of ooze comes flying towards you, and you cut through it as it splatters back. This ooze. Um. Okay. Uh. That was that's turn. Now all of them have a higher initiative than me. <laughs> <laughs> did I move inside the door or did you move me inside the door? Uh, you did the spinning <laughs> slash, which okay. you said I move despite Okay, okay fair, 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 fair. Okay, um... Going right near your death. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not but afraid. it looked cool. That's all that matters. Uh. Okay. Oh, if it matters, Iggy is giving off bright light up to 20 feet and then dim light 20 feet further than that. So if that affects any of the lighting over here. I'm not sure if that's taken into effect on the map. Uh, I will I will check that out. Um, roll a that? wisdom save uh, to the second. Is it against <laughs> being frightened? It is. I have advantage. Mm -hmm. But are you wise? Scare him. No, I'm not that wise. Do not fear. I'm fear not is the mind. Yes, you are. Let's go. <laughs> have not fear. I said I'm not afraid. <laughs> Let's go to the second. <laughs> um, okay. Uh. I uh -oh. think attempts to touch. touch and touch. Don't get corrupted. A 13? No, not even close. <laughs> just cut out uh okay um that was that thing's turn uh another hound surrounds you yeah. this is bad ooh. ooh that's probably damage uh you are knocked on the ground and you take 12 damage oh. I use my psionic shield <laughs> Wait, I already used... No, I didn't. I used an inspiration. Like seven damage. Nice. Okay, doke. Woo! As this hound comes up and bites you. If it pleases the BM. Uh, another hound moves in and attempts to bite you. He's surrounded! We're doomed! Oh. Ooh. Uh, ooh, that'd be an advantage. I'll just see if that crits. Yeah, it would it's be. 10 damage, but... Nah. It, okay. 10 damage. Okay. Additional. Make another strength save to see if you're still prone. Doing okay, too? <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, I know how I felt! <laughs> Quite weak! Yeah, you, you gotta... <laughs> strength is not my strong suit. How far is the light um, um, from Iggy? So it's 20 foot bright light and then an additional 20 foot dim light. Okay. Uh, hey. yeah, as Iggy rolls up, um, we'll say it only happens now for the dramatic effect. That's uh, fine. You see um, quite a few of these things. Um, and then what you see is a um, black figure crouched um, upside down on the ceiling. Um, oh, what the hell? It's big. And. Hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, that is the thing that attempt to uh, touch to the second. Flashbang. Flashbang? Um, Where's Flashbang? I'm trying oh, to think about You're all the way back so there. far. Well, the crystal's supposedly gonna drop at the end of this yeah. round, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And how heavy is this crystal? Not very. There's a bunch of them, isn't there? Is there a bunch? Uh, there is, but um, you can, like, grasp them up. Like, one person, uh, they're pretty small. One person can carry the whole thing. Um, you know what? Flashbang's gonna go in and save his Jedi friend that's really fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna spend a key point, and he's gonna use Step of the Wind. And uh, I'll take the dash action as my bonus action. So zooming, zooming. He's gonna meet. Oh, whoa! Not that. Not that one. No. What? Need, there we go. I didn't see him move yet. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. fly over here. I'm gonna immediately fly into here. And I'm just gonna send out just two punches into this one in front of me, and then the one okay. to the side of me. Nice. Punch one miss. Punch two hit. Was number two the one on the left? Three, but... six. Yeah. The second one was the the one right there. Okay. Nice. Give a solid hit on that. Uh any more punches, you said? Uh I don't think I can, can I? I already yeah, use my already bonus use action, action for my step. Yeah. So I'm just going to okay. stand there with like both of my fists out and be like, come on, bring it. Uh huh. Um, cool. Uh, at this point, the crystals, um, uh, there is this, um, gravity force field on them. Um, and, uh, it seems to, um, power out with this big flash. Um, <clears throat> and you hear this screech coming from the shadowy creatures, um, as this seems to have angered them in some way or another. Um, and, uh, the crystals, uh, like, are produced in a, um, little tank. Like, you can grab this tank of crystals, um, uh, which is, yeah, right there. All right. Well, obviously... I will yell out to my companions that I've been traveling for some time. I've got the crystals. Always secure the bag. We're out of here. Everyone start making your way out. And I've got you on the way back. I'm going to pick up and grab the crystals. So nice. Right, right. Yeah, I'm saying that's a free action. Cool. And then I'm, I would like to summon an air elemental. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Uh, um. Like <laughs> over, um, over where flashbang and to the second R and into the shadow monsters I'm going to uh, whisper to the spirits that are contained in this elemental gem that was passed down in my in my family's generations of air genasi all right papa all right mama help them out whoosh and yeah. just lob it over um, is your to, goal to get them behind or uh, it, like to get the air elemental behind it'll be like back here? Them, yeah. The... But, yeah, back there. Kind of like over them, okay. maybe like clattering into uh, into one of the people. And it'll... Nice. Uh, kind of like... Uh, it can take up their uh, their own space. It can Ooh. take up their space, so that's where I want it. Okay, nice. And this yeah. Uh, and that arrow elemental is under my control and it rolls its own initiative. Okie doke. Let's get the initiative in there. And uh, all right, and then I nice. will do the rest of my move. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that, and that is my turn. Cool. Yeah, this you hear this whooshing sound as this um, air elemental um, uh, takes form in the middle of the shadows and the shadows wince back at its appearance. Um, 
Uh, it let's a, see. It is a tornado with eyeballs. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Oh boy. Just getting crammed in that hallway. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Just a little bit. This is. <laughs> this is a thing. Um. Okay. Bite and claws towards to the second. Ooh, claws. Ooh. Ten damage. Right, we just gotta get you out of there. Bite. The bite is a miss. Um, okay. Kino. Alright, I'm gonna take a step forward. And I'm gonna summon my my dude right here. Okay, doke. Yeah, I could just do that. All right, I'm gonna do unleash incarnation again. I'm gonna attack three three times. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can kill this guy first with with the first attack. Okay, doke. Thirteen hit. That is a hit, yes. All right. Six cool. damage. That dissipates that one. All right, he's got to take another step forward and use the rest of the attacks on these guys. On this guy right there. Okay. Oh. That is definitely a hit. 24 and 24. Oh. Jesus. Oh, two more attacks. <laughs> Jeez, both hit. Big yeah. smash. Oh, Max rolled it. Right. Oh my oh. god. It's barely holding on after the first thing, and the, the second one completely takes him out. Uh, Alright. That's my turn. Kino's so strong. Kino. Oh, he's a strong boy. Air elemental. Um, right. I I guess I will... Jeez, that thing's do you have big. control? I have control of it. Or I control it, but I don't know if I have control of it. I do not have control of it. It's like counter <laughs> elemental. Yeah. Like you gave a command and then it'll do its yeah, thing. I, I control but, it. Okay. But I, there. Okay. Not Let's bad. see here. Two right. slam attacks and a whirlwind. Yep. The whirlwind's a strength save. I'm going to whirlwind. What do you want to do? Oh, whirlwind a lot of them. Whirlwind them away. Okay. And they all Miss. make strength saves or something, something. Yep. They all make strength saving throws. Um. On a failure, the target is flung 20 feet away from the elemental in a random direction and knocked prone. Oh, I might uh, just slam him against the walls. If the target is thrown <laughs> at another creature, mm. the creature must make a dexterity saving throw or take the same damage and be knocked prone. Oh boy. Oh shit. One of them made it. Uh, okay, one of them. Okay. And then roll a d8 for the direction. I will roll 1d8 as you command. Uh, five. Okay, one, two, three. Four. Okay, so it gets flung 20 feet. Oh god, it's going towards Flashbang. Whoops. <laughs> the, the chaos of air. I'm sorry, Flashbang. <laughs> nah, dude, it's fine. It's a dexterity saving throw, right? Dexterity. Yeah. You're fine, man. You're fine. What's, what's the DC for it? Flashbang is fast. Oh, it doesn't, okay. yeah, it doesn't even you, matter. You're good. You see Flashbang literally jump up in the air and do like a barrel spin in the air uh, and uh, land back. All right. So, uh, whatever just got hurled 20 feet is now prone and takes um, some damage. With the big damage. Some damage. With big spanks. It doesn't say how much damage it takes. Uh, uh, let, me, let me consult. <laughs> Oh, there's a there's a damage uh, formula. Let's see. I don't uh, that's I enough. <laughs> hey! ah, geez. Slams against the pillar and uh, screeches oh. and curls up uh, the spider okay. and dissipates as well. Uh, so the second one makes the strength save, and then the third one does not make the strength save. So it also gets hurled in a random direction. Uh, the second one didn't. It's a DC. The second one made it. Second oh, one made it, the third the, one didn't. The first and the third failed. The Yeah, okay. So here's uh, the D8 for its direction. Okay, seven. Okay. This thing gets flung back as it screeches the thing that was on the ceiling, the large thing. 
And the um, wind in the air pelts it as well. For damage. Yeah. Um, and that's 22, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Or we can reroll okay. it, but yeah, 22 is fine. Okie doke. Yeah, it gets flung back and um, pushed into the darkness. Zedras. Okay. Uh, out of curiosity, your um, your shadow figure, that thing is corporeal? Like it takes it's up corporeal. Space. Like it's okay. literally just me. Okay, so you can't just walk, you can't just go through it, so... Hmm. Iggy can't... I'm not gonna throw Iggy there, but I can move him over here. I'm gonna just move him over in order to try to block the doorway. Mm. And... Just, and try Don't to uh, allies get my, hurt by the, the... If they end their turn... If, oh, if any the... ally, yeah, if anything ends their turn within a five foot radius, then they'll take the damage. Nice. So I'm okay. trying to block off the area and yell out to my allies, it's best if we move. And, uh, right. yeah, I can't really see the situation here. So, uh, hmm. I will, oh, okay. um, let's see. Running towards I will, you with the bag. <laughs> uh, could I hold a uh, an action to use my uh, healer's kit on the most injured person that walks past me? So sure, okay. So isn't an it's just an action to use it as well? The uh, kit? Yeah, as an action to spend one use of the healer's okay. kit. So aiming that for hopefully two as yeah as they run past. Cool, uh, two. You are prone on the ground, so I'm guessing you get up. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll get up. Okie doke. I'll turn around to my comrade, Flashbang, and I'll say, Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. <laughs> what is your deal, man? <laughs> <laughs> But we gotta get the fuck out of here. It's time to get out of here. <laughs> I put my I put my hand on his shoulder and I say, "When I'm gone, the last of the Jedi will be you." And then I <laughs> use my telekinetic force to try to push him back. Oh, <laughs> into the fire! <laughs> <Come> on, <fuck. laughs> at an angle, away from the yeah. fire. At an angle. Okay. <laughs> and then, sh so so uh, you can try to. You, you can try to save it. My, my, I'm, I'm trying to be a hero. Is this a sa self sacrifice goal? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be uh, a hero. I, as a DM, am forced to allow self sacrifices. <laughs> um, as Flashbang and uh, Kinu, uh, <laughs> well, the Kinu clone, um, does Ke Kinu clone have any physicality? To it? Yeah, he's, he's, he's physical. I hit I it. hit the door oh, okay. switch. Yeah, if he wasn't, I would have. If he wasn't, then I would have moved my. Yeah. Uh, I would have moved yeah. Iggy through. But yeah. Yeah, that's that's Why? what I'm saying. Uh, the door closes behind. <laughs> right? is, Are we is that serious where right now? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I turn around, spinning my yeah. lightsaber. Uh huh. <laughs> the the room is completely black. And um, <sighs> what happens is we see the lightsaber light up, and uh, we see uh, we see the one thing that's left. But then we see a pouring um, range of other shadowy creatures um, okay. uh, behind it. The and, lightsaber um, spins. Yeah, and uh, I think with that, um, you guys, we just probably cut to you guys being in the elevator at this point. Yes, uh, yeah, the that, door that slams closed. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys are out of breath, and um, uh, you you know that this this was a <laughs> sacrifice, no matter what. Um, uh, yeah, if we want to end combat, I mean that yeah. I feel like it makes sense. It's a yeah, story. He really didn't have to. He, you know, he really didn't have to do that. I feel like <laughs> he really did. did. I don't understand why he did it. <laughs> Everyone's I, 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 feel, I feel like. I feel like we were winning. Like, real bad we were winning. Then he just killed himself. It's, it's strange. We could have easily handled that. I don't think that was the most strategic move. But You know, yeah, there, was something, there were some loose bolts in his head somewhere. He wasn't all there, okay? He was talking about Jenna and yeah. stuff. Uh, 
Yeah, you guys, guess you guys like fanboy. Iggy, you, <laughs> so, you guys you next like time. <laughs> relaxedly uh, get in the elevator and then hear like a terrible, terrible screeching sound as um, ahead of you as the elevator doors close. You just see just millions of shadow oh, God. creatures oh, my God. Um, <laughs> appearing from uh, the corners and moving into your location. Um, and uh, we see you guys work your way um, back through the ship in a hurry um, and uh, with the crystals in hand. Um, and uh, after just 15 minutes or so of like nonstop running, working your way back through all the obstacles, um, you uh, reach the back of the ship again and um, jump off the back. Uh, and uh, as you look back towards the ship, you see it being engulfed in that gray sphere that you saw in the core of the ship. Oh. Oh. And it Jeez. completely engulfs the ship after a few minutes. You reach your junker, your uh, junker ship, and um, put it into gear, start the engines, which takes a while. Um, but uh, eventually start um, moving away as uh, these gray uh, masses have um, quite a bit of gravity to them so you don't get sucked in. Um, and then after a few minutes, it grows to a sizable um, like mass and then all shrinks down within maybe a few seconds um, and there is nothing um, left but asteroids and space junk. The oh, spaceship is completely gone. Okay. You have the crystals and are standing in the air airlock looking on. Atmos is looking in the bag, looking at the crystals. He says out loud, not really talking to anybody in particular. We found them. Just drifting along with a sign said work for hire yeah little screws loose yeah I don't understand none of us understand why he did that we were winning yeah no. yeah is he is he still yeah. around hmm can you talk to him is he the next guest on your show we can. That is my specialty. We, we we can have him on the show. I think we all have several questions. Yes. I'll. I think I just got one. I'll, Why? I'll, uh, I'll close my eyes and feel <laughs> out to the spirit center, drifting through the asteroids and through the massive emptiness of space and try to find the late to the second if you can't find him find anybody that is willing to talk and share their story on yeah, Mr. Two, if you out there yeah the sickest flips <laughs> and then this is not how I'll speak with dead works but maybe with some kind of like combination of being spirit bard I like to cast speak with dead to talk with somebody with two to the second uh, if he's not available <laughs> with, with with anybody uh, that from from the derelict yeah um I think uh, you probably <laughs> get uh, um, one of the the researchers. Um, you probably actually get Dr. Faust <laughs> um, from oh, the other I... side. Oh, hey. I'm... I'll reach out and like, grab who just, whoever's next to us. <laughs> oh, hey, I got... Um, Dr. Faust is on the line. Hello, you're on air. Um, well, I guess, I guess it doesn't quite work like that with this one. When we're not on... When we're not live, when we're not on Space Ghost, I can only do a limited version of this. Um, I've got the researcher that Questions. we met, 
Does anybody have any questions for the for the researcher that got gobbled up? Who? Dr. Faust. Oh, you mean the idiot that ran away instead of staying with us? Nah. The, the same. <laughs> I would still like to know the goal of his research. Okay. Dr. Faust, uh, if you don't mind answering this question, and please speak into the microphone um, so that we can hear you properly. And where are you... What were you doing out here with this research? What was the goal? Our goal was to find the reason for these grayed out stars. Some way to save us, all of us, in the galaxy. We grow too much. There's too many people to handle. And soon we may outgrow our means. In order to find out what these grayed out stars are capable of, we attempted to create our own. But what came out was too much for us to handle. Do you... Do you understand what came out? Can you... Uh, well, I guess that's the question. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Oh, was that it? No, I, I asked him, uh, do you yeah. understand what came out? Yeah. No. So I'm, uh, in my left hand, I'm holding up uh, two fingers just to track the questions that we have. Uh huh. Question. Yeah. Yes. There will there'll be a pause, um, even though this is like just an animated version of him. Um, and uh, he will say, I do not understand. But what I do know is that it was death. I'll look up at the rest of the group. Anything you guys want to ask? What would you different? What would you do differently in this experiment, Doctor Faust? Uh, we have a a guest on the line. Uh, they ask, "What what would you do different if?" You knew now what you did then. I would do nothing different. This research must be found. It wasn't something we started, yet it is something simply we uncovered. Atmos holds That's up three fingers. Three. Where did they uncover this research? Is three the limit, or it's what's it, what are we going to? Ooh, five. That's a lot of questions. It's a level three spell. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Ozzy, what was what, what did you ask? I was, oh, I was just asking where did they uncover this research? Doctor Faust, this. Uh, the, the guest continues with a follow-up question. Where did you uncover this research? Where was it? Where was it done? The research, the research was never uncovered. It is a new experiment. Yet, the results have been ongoing for thousands of years. Amos holds up four fingers. Mm. Last one, you guys. If this were, you know, if this were Space Ghost, we could keep them on, we keep them around for longer. But last one. Does anybody else have questions? Oh uh, yeah. Do you see that weird floating Jedi guy in there? <laughs> Buddy Chance. <laughs> uh, Doctor Faustus is uh, uh, one of our companions. He goes by the name Two the Second. He seems to be something of a um, of a of a Force practitioner, Jedi, some kind of thing. Is is he there? Can you? Uh, I wouldn't ask. To put him on the line. Uh, can you just make sure that he's safe, taken care of? Uh, did, is he there with you? 
He is not here with me. Not at the moment. That son of a bitch. He did a Jedi, didn't he? Where did he go? He killed himself, and now he's just gone? Perhaps he's not dead. Perhaps he also went over to the other dimension. It is possible we may see him again in the future. I hope not. That was weird. He pushed me away and said I was a, a Jedi? Uh, I'm a mechanic, man. Of course, that's nonsense. It's, it's just... Yeah, that makes no sense. Amos holds up five fingers and then he's got an open palm and then just closes it into a fist. The spell ends. He just cool. puts his puts his closed fist over his lips. That's all cool. the time we um, have. Catch us next time on Space Ghosts. Cool. I think the the next scene we get is uh, you dropping by the planet and um, picking up all your jade, which is uh, split between you guys. Um, you see Skeeter, the little rat farmer, taking up the gems. Um, and as he puts them into these uh, little, like, um, uh, radio dish kind of machines, all his uh, tractors. And you'll see, like, the, this is a huge farm um, spanning, like, a uh, bunch of acres. Um, all the machinery comes back to life. Um, and uh, as you guys take off... Um, What's everyone doing um, before we we cut uh, the, the one shot? What's the last thing we see as you guys go off into? Um, I'm healing flashbang with Tale of an Angel. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and uh, what, nice. what plays is, is a ghostly, uh, like the like the sad puppy commercial where, you, where it's like, uh -huh. please adopt a pet or something like that. In the arms of <laughs> Great. Fly away. <laughs> as, uh, oh my god. As the spirits of uh, little space angels coalesce and wrap around flashbang, uh, you heal 2d8 plus 4, 14 HP, and uh, hey. one condition ends on you. So if you are blinded, deafened, paralyzed, petrified, or poisoned, then. None of those. Then none of those are happening anymore. <laughs> huh. Great. Uh, cool. What are other people doing? Uh, I guess Flashbang next. What are you uh, doing on the ship? Never, we never said who the pilot was of this ship. Like, um, who's flying this thing? Is it Flashbang? Or? It, it was to the second. You guys are <laughs> stranded again. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows how to fly this thing. Um... I do have proficiency with. Well, actually, no. Those are land vehicles. It's a. Hey, me too. Doesn't really help in that situation. I mean, flashbangs uh, are mechanic, so I would assume that he knows how to at least fly one of these yeah, things. It's... I mean, land land vehicles is is enough. Either either way, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess flashbang or Zedras. Um, yeah, flashbang. It sounds like flashbang's the me mechanic, and maybe Zedras is the the pilot. The pilot that makes Take sense. Sure. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, Flashbang, uh, what are you doing, Flash? Flashbang's last in the floors see? again, doing more welding uh, on the ship while these ghosts are around. And you just see, like, every now and then you're like, get away from me! Quick! <laughs> you're in my way! Work environment. Yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, Zedras, um, anything you want to uh, do cutting out on? If, uh... Hmm. I, I picture, uh, Ozzy pulled up in his uh, research laboratory in the like probably in a corner in the ship and just thinking about all the uh, all the things that he saw uh, maybe he uh, maybe if possible he would have been able to have uh, swiped an extra piece of equipment as he was on his way out mm -hmm. and just uh, writing planning and uh, possibly trying to replicate the experiment that he saw so, yeah for sure. Yeah, I think you got odd ooze from one of the corpses and whatnot, and you're looking that over. Uh, Kino, anything you want to do? Last thing? I think Kino's just hanging out in his room, looking at a picture. Mm. Okay. Oh. And uh, Atmos, anything more? Yeah, yeah. Atmos is uh, 
in a, a very uncanny bookend, Atmos is looking out the window at the spot where the derelict was. He just kind of scoffs. <sighs> Show off. <laughs> there you and, go. Uh, that's it. That's it? Alright. Cool. Um, and the final, final scene that we get is uh, you all um, doing your respective things as we uh, raise up and move through the guts of the ship, all the mechanical pipes and whatnot. Um, and there we see a black corner. And inside that black corner, a bunch of eyes open and rush oh. towards camera. <laughs> nice. Darn. Oh, shit. Something latched on the ship. Guys. Um, cool. Guys, I am, I am so pissed off at myself. I had the crusher oh. feet. I could have been doing lots of cool stuff that I just uh, completely forgot about. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh no. man. Well, there may be a chance. Maybe a chance oh, still. Yeah. In the Dude, future. Kino's awesome. I love Kino. Yeah, Kino's holy crap. Yeah, you were doing work. Badass. You were doing like Yeah. Alright, I'm a I'm a I'm a killer 